Wa, 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 wa. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Bone Pit. I'm your host, Bone Score, and today, today we are playing Borderlands Two, and we are starting today. We're gonna roll right into the Hammerlocks big game hunt, and see if we can't just muscle through it until the end. Uh, maybe just get it done in one. That would be really cool, uh, ideally. So, we don't want to waste too much time beforehand, uh, before we get into it. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's too much... I don't think there's anything to announce today, actually, for the stream, for the channel, anything. Just the Discord, as usual, which is there, the thing, it's behind the sub button, along with badges and emotes. It's a whole treasure trove down there. So why not pop it open and and see what you can find in that in that sub button there on the Twitch page. I'm there in the Discord, a whole bunch of other cool people are there. Um, it's a big funnel for all the channel's content, cross platforms, so it's a good place to be. Uh, that aside, I think there's anything to talk about today. Uh, there rarely is. <laughs> there rarely is shit to mention beforehand. Important stuff that we gotta get to before we get into the game. Not too much of that. At least not for the last little while, so. Here. Oh, maybe I guess I should uh, mention once in a while that the channel's anniversary is coming up and we'll probably do something special for that i haven't quite figured out what yet but i'll do my best not to mention that all the time just uh just like maybe once a week or whatever just to remind you guys although that's like in two weeks so whatever two three weeks about three weeks ish give or take not important not important. What is important is that we get to today's game and we play the shit out of it. So, I'm going to get up, turn the TV on, and then we can get down to business and do the fucking thing. Okay? Okay. Wah. Wah wah. Alright. You can hear me. You can see the game. Um, you know, I just want to check real quick. Borderlands 2 DLC order. Hmm. Where's the list of it, though? Oh. Captain Scarlet comes first. Then Torg's Campaign of Carnage. Then the Big Game Hunt. And then Dragon Keep. Okay, you know, we can do it like that. Yeah, we can do it like that. That's cool. Alright, so... You know what? Instead of... I should change that. Uh, hold on. Let's change the uh, title here a little bit. into the desert biome it's it's good update successfully updated your informations cool all right so we'll do that instead then <clears throat> we'll start with uh, captain scarlet's treasure whatever i'm cool with that Oh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, where does it go? It's down here at the bottom, right? Pirate's Booty, Oasis. We'll start here first. Because, yeah, I do think this actually is the first one. That makes sense. Try and do this in canonical order. As best we can. Hey! Sandworms. There's a big pile of treasure in the desert. And the Volt Hunters found it and killed all the bad guys. The end. No, no, no. That's not how you start a story. I thought it was pretty good. And I think you're not getting fed this week. Now, this is how you start a story. Legends speak of Captain Blades, lost treasure of the sands. Of a prize so great that men would turn their sands red in pursuit of it. Of a pirate queen, courageous and deadly, who would stop at nothing to find it. Of a monstrous leviathan. Of the vault hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors <coughs> that would befall them. See, that's how you do it. Mine was more succinct. Your life's gonna be succinct, you dirty little orphan. Yeah. So, like, what is the deal with, like... What is it with Marcus and the orphans? He always seems to be telling a story to some orphans. And... Like, like, what's the deal? Like, he sells guns to mercenaries, right? So, like, what, does he use the funding to, like, feed the orphans? Or is he just, like, passing through a place with an orphanage at some point? Or I'm not sure why he's the story man for them all the time. It seems I have gotten myself stuck right away. Okay, there we go. Whoops. Uh, great start. Fantastic fucking kickoff to this. Welcome to the Oasis. <clears throat> so, Shade, the guy... Oh, look at that big fucking boat up there. Shade, the guy who is uh, contracting us to kill these sand pirates... Uh, he's based off of um, a character from a um, like an old old movie. Um, oh, what is the fuck is it called? Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. It's a character that Johnny Depp plays. I can't uh, for the life of me remember uh, the guy's name, but um, he's. Really, really good in the in the role. Fear, loathing in Las Vegas. Can't stop here. This is backcountry. Don't don't stop the car. Don't you dare stop the car. It'll be just assailed by bats. Assailed by bats or assailed with bats? I'm not sure the proper. Assaulted by bats. Let's let's go with that. And fuck that. Because as I think you guys know, bats suck. According to Bone Score, at least. Bone Score does not like bats. Which is a shame, because like I think their wings look cool. Like whenever you see them, like. Drawn out, stylized, used on another uh, creature or whatever, right? Like used as a as a design element. Um, fucking no beard, the pirate. But yeah, God, do I hate bats? <laughs> fuck them. And fuck this guy too. No beard. Look at you. You're a big ass pirate. What do you, <laughs> look, at, look at him just fucking 
trying to strafe to get me. Trying to turn, turn around. As I strafe him. <clears throat> He's like dancing. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, uh, 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 uh. You, so you come here a lot? You, you I, don't, I haven't seen you around here before. Oh. Like people. Just coming from Oasis. Oh, is that a fall hunter I see? I'm Captain Scarlet. Something tells me you're here for the treasure, same as I am. So, we've got two options. We can work together and split the treasure, or we could just try to kill one another. Or maybe both. Come find me in Wormwater, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I like this, yeah. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of both there. I like the sound of let's work together and try to kill each other. We can help each other find the treasure and then and then I will kill you and take it. That's a that's a good get, I think. Boosh. Alright, we gotta go find Shade. Shade in the oasis. Get it? Get it? Do you fucking get it? Do you understand why it's funny? Gun to your head, do you get why it's funny? You are the coolest person I have ever seen. Please don't go. Please. <clears throat> Shade, your new BFF. Don't leave him alone. He can't handle it. He he really can't. But yeah, this guy's like a one for one, pretty much, of the the guy from Fear and Loathing. Who, again, um, I think Johnny Depp's character in that movie was based off of somebody else. Oh, I am Riffs is here. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Hope all is well today. Hope you are good. I am Riffs is hey. How are you doing? Liking this DLC so far? I am. I am liking it. I'm, uh... I, this is one of the ones that I really enjoy. Uh, my favorite would be Dragon's Keep, but this would be my second favorite after it. Um, this this one's real solid in a lot of ways. Uh, this guy in particular is the character that I really like. Uh, you've cleared Oasis of Pirates and met the Eccentric Shade. Yeah, Eccentric's a good word. Um... Now it's time to roll up your sleeves, metaphorically, get dirty, metaphorically, and properly begin your quest to find a buttload of loot, non-metaphorically. The townspeople of Oasis, thank you. If you're looking for the treasure of the Sands, you want to talk to Captain Scarlet. She's set up in Wormwater. You'll need a Sand Stick to reach her. Use mine. It's the least I can do for the stranger who saved the many living people of my town. Oh, you're so cool. Okay, all right, cool. Much work for you Nothing to says friend. party like booze and corpses. Have you met my friend Frank? He is a very gruff man and an alcoholic. Yes, it is a tragedy. He becomes very irate if he has not given the finest whiskey. Could you please procure some from the merchant caravans nearby? Okay, we need whiskey and then we need to get it to Frank. Get the whiskey to Frank. Where? Okay, where exactly is the whiskey? It's like out here, yeah? Okay. I remember says, yeah, if you do the the Hubert mission for Scarlet, you can get a Sandhawk, which is really good. Oh, cool. I take it that's a another gun, huh? Uh, oh, right, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, no, this... <laughs> so the whiskey's gonna be out there. I think I remember where it is now. Uh, we're gonna want to do this mission first, because this activates the sand skiffs. Uh, it's a really uh, neat thing. Most of the... DLCs, um, well, no, hold on, hang on a second, this one, 
the hunters thing. I don't know that I don't think they give you a new vehicle type in the campaign of Carnage, but you get the skiff, the sand skiff here in um, in like the desert oasis thing, and you also get uh, like a weird. It's like a hovercraft, I think, or like a fan boat or something, in the um, in the big game hunt. Sand skiffs are really cool. I I rather like these things. Little boats that just like float atop the sand. Uh, this whole area in general is really cool. Um, I like it a lot because like this is one of those areas in the game that you, where you can see like Pandora used to kind of be like flooded. There used to be deep oceans all over the place, and this is one of those areas where like this is kind of like one of the like the seabeds um we'll go out and we'll be able to see more um like fossils and shit like that but you you end up like over there right like the decaying old lighthouse atop that big rock like that's a lighthouse because this all used to be like flooded right Yeah, you you uh you'll see like amidst like all the rock in the terrain, there's what looks like coral in various like aquatic um I don't know what you'd call them like plants. Yeah, I guess like various like aquatic plants, like deep sea plants and shit. Stuff that you find growing on the bottom of the ocean floor amidst the coral and whatnot. Why, hello, person. It's all like fossilized and it's shit. It's really cool. Well, end of tape. <laughs> I feel like I should use that whenever I want to just, like, end a conversation with somebody. Well, it's funny you ask. End of side A. Uh, Iris says, by the way, have you played through this before or no? So I don't accidentally spoil if you have not played it. Um... This is never mind. You seem to know your stuff. Yeah, I've I've played through this quite a bit. I uh, I've played through this a number of times. I used to play it on the 360 a lot, and I had I had uh, like at least one um, of every character class, and they had all gone through and completed New Game Plus and the DLC on it. So there's been quite a lot done. Talk to Jennifer and Jocko. One of them's like way out there, isn't it? How far out there, though? How far out there? Talk to Jennifer, talk to Jocko. Oh, let's locate the Sandworm Queen, huh? Yeah, I'll have to go find that fucking worm. And pop it for my part, I guess. Yeah, you're pretty safe, like, relatively close to the slope. But as you get farther out, yeah, you run the risk of these things popping out. 
which I rather like as an enemy because they're kind of like the Threshers, but without all the waving tentacles and all that. They just kind of sit out there and, and spit at you. It's a good variation on the uh, on the Threshers. I really like Sandworms as an enemy type. I think they're really cool. The bigger, the better. I can't remember like any of the like specifics of the places where I'd seen it, but. I can recall uh, several different instances of seeing, um, like, in whatever cartoon, uh, like, a, like people cr trying to cross a desert, and there being, like, a giant sandworm underneath it, and you, like, either gotta find, like, a special way to cross the desert, or you've gotta fucking fight the worm. I've always really enjoyed that. Cause like the desert is pretty dangerous enough, right? Well, with like the heat and the lack of food and water and all that. But I mean, like you add giant sandworms into the mix, and like it's a whole other ball game. Iris says threshers, but less annoying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like way less annoying than threshers. Just take it. <laughs> I really like this. Like the fucking... The speakerphone tied onto the neck with a wig over it as the head. Because like that's all she is. It's all, it's all it needs. Yeah, all of Shade's friends around here are just mannequins um, hooked up to speakers that just have his own voice doing dialogue because he's been here alone for so long. And you know what? Like, I don't know if they're mannequins or if they're corpses of, like, his friends. Like, people who, like, actually were here. Yeah, like, they the way they're all, like, just posed and shit around here, like, the immediate thought is, like, oh, they're mannequins, right? Uh, like, especially that one over there that doesn't actually have a real head on her. Um, it, you know, you've got the spikes through them and everything, right? Um, but, like, that neck looks like a real ass neck right like that looks like a like a person's neck it's just been bent um the way some of the limbs are like propped and tied up uh like you wouldn't need to prop up an arm like that on a mannequin right you wouldn't need to you might not you might need to like hold the arm up if it's like holding a microphone or something that weighs right but yeah it just seems uh it seems like upon further investigation they're more likely to be corpses than they are mannequins which makes the whole thing that much like worse he's just been making weird fake puppet friends out of his dead friends Yeah, Iris makes a good point. It says, I don't think mannequins have veins. 
It's a, it's a very good point. I mean, they could be very well painted and, you know, wearing makeup and all that shit for all we know. But I'm, I'm going to go with these are probably corpses. Yeah. Yeah, like the way... The way that leg is fucking tied back and then the foot just is is like broken to the side. Yeah, I don't Yeah. Yeah, these are corpses. Magnetic overthrow. Why do the random corpses just have these parts? So he's like the only one that hasn't died of dehydration. And I guess everybody's like... I guess they're all like fresh dead. And nobody's begun to decay yet. Oh, she is fixed. Wonderful. Please hit that button to digiscanner into the catch a ride system. If you want. Oh, it's the other button. Scan these nuts. I wonder if you could. I wonder if you could just, like, put your balls on the platform and have it scan your balls, and then when people go into the catcher ride and they go to select their vehicles, they're scanning through all the options and they just see your balls. Or, like, a 3D rendering of, uh, of your taint. Right, just get just get the whole mess in there. I had no reason to call you back. I just enjoyed your presence. You may you may question it at first, but people will definitely take notice when you go tearing through town in a uh, in a hot pink bubblegum taint mobile. With shades overgraph repaired, you finally head out to warm water and find Captain Scarlet. Yeah, get the whole package. Yeah. Don't get the undercoating though. Don't get the undercoating on the taint mobile. This is the one place you definitely don't want to get that shit. Oasis needs your help, my friend. and only we can help. Giving Jocko a leg up. You have met Jocko, yes? He is a simple man with very big dreams. He, he wishes to be a sand pirate, you see. I'm sure he would love it if you could give him some piratey prosthetics. Uh, teeth, peg legs, things of this sort. Cool, yeah, I can do that. Much uh, for you today, my friend. And then Wingman, help brother out. Friend, I have a sensitive matter. You have met Natalie, yes? The town sex pot? Town sex pot. I planned to make her my wife, but I lost the engagement ring. Could you find it for me? Please. Alright, yes, I will. This mission, this is a fucking mission and a half. I love this one. It's so dumb. There's quite a lot that just like explodes right off the bat here. Uh, bearing the past, this mission has explosions. It's real good. My great-grandma used to be a sand pirate around these parts, but I don't want anybody to know. The old ship is just outside of Oasis. I need you to scuttle it and erase any evidence of the creepy stuff my grandgram used to do. Go get the explosives I stashed for you. Scuttle, I believe, is pirate lingo for blow the fuck up. She wants us to boom bap explode it. Pounds of flesh! 
I meant to hit that button. You know, just to punctuate. Ah, fuck. Can you help Aubrey Callahan with her stalker problem? What kind of stalker? It's the same lady. Okay, we will go kill your big pet lizard because you're too lazy to take care of it. Fresh batch of sours. For the road. Okay. So... Aubrey Stalker, yeah, is up over here around where we go find the engagement ring, which is also just past here. Where we pick up. I think that's a treasure hunting mission. I think that's like a treasure map. Yeah, here we go. So we've got uh, three different types we've got rockets, harpoons. And saw blades. I like the harpoons. I like the harpoon on the the sand skiff. Is I feel like that makes the most sense. Uh, and then default just plain white. Uh, what do we got? Sun bleached, sunstone. Oh, those are like the same. Laminate, minty fresh, sea monster, evil candy cane. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Caustic Racer? Oh, that's cool. Be able to see that nice and clearly in the desert. Put that on for the moment. Uh, do we have anything that's like bright, hot pink? Eh, kind of. I do like that one too. Like with the rings on it. Lavender Love. Bubble Gum. Hey, that's closer to what we're looking for. Pandora Sun. Blue Stew. Ooh, I like that one too. The blue and the black that's a nice combination that that particular shade of blue it's like really deep but also kind of bright when the light hits it fuck i don't know what you'd call that but like i'd love to get the hex key for that uh iridium metal ooh. acid net that's like a like a jungle tone kind of like it it screams metal gear solid 3 uh, what do we have that's like more pink? Bright, hot bubblegum pink. Actually, you know what? That blue at the top there, the Skyrunner. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's run with that one for a while. Boom. So the really cool thing about the sand skiff is that it like it floats. On the sand so you can like you can drive it sideways and you can like whip it around and strafe with it and shit it's really fun hey, look at it. it's like a rocket ship the mobility on this thing is fucking nuts I love it So we'll want to take out a, at least a few of these guys. Because we need to get to that fucking quest marker we have here. Oh, it's a head for a siren. We I don't have a siren character yet. I don't think. I don't think I have a siren yet. I think I started to play one in BL1. And then got tired of that. I should start one up <clears throat> and then like pump it to level 15 and then come in here.
because the uh, the page that I looked up the uh, chronology of this on was saying that you get um, that the like the quest level range in this area is like fifteen to thirty. So I'm wondering if like if we come in around there, will the will it be scaled down farther? I think it is. I think it does like scale down quite a bit. We want to grab. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Come on. Oh, there it is. I'm stupid. Or blind. One of the two. Possibly both. Uh, got like 10 minutes of class left. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, ooh, a message. A bottle with a note in it. This will either lead to some treasure... Or you're in the middle of a really bad romance novel. I'd be okay with that. Even if it's like a bad romance novel, <clears throat> that's still like 100% more romance than is in my life right now, so... <laughs> I'd take it. <laughs> At least to give you... Oh, at least it give you something to laugh about afterwards. When it inevitably, inevitably doesn't work out because of some tragic circumstance forbidding the two of you from ever being together. You know how it goes. Uh, so we need to find this one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's still over here. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. This is the wrong way. Somebody catch me! Now, I'm not sure, but I do think that there are a few areas where you can just, like, ramp the sand skiff off of shit. And go over the barriers into zones where it's not supposed to be. I don't know that this is one of them, though. They did a pretty good job of, like, walling off a lot of the areas. Like, to prevent exactly that from happening. Yeah, I, I love this. All the, like, sunken ships and everything on the bottom of the ocean floor that are now just, like, obstacles in the way. Tri-tail stalker. Tinkles, huh? That's its name? It's really cool they got like the uh, like the trident tail cuz they're like I guess like ocean stalkers or whatever. I I wonder if they are um like a variant of stalker like one you got to wonder if the stalkers existed uh back when the planet was still covered in water and two you gotta wonder if the, uh, if these stalkers in particular, like, evolved their tails like that, um, like, to better facilitate fishing. Ooh, get back over here, you fucking lizard bitch. Ha ha! Ugh. She could stand to be a little more excited about that sick comeback I made. Yay! Of course, that's how I'm going to feel when we start playing the uh, Campaign of Carnage. Are you ready for explosions? Yeah! Woo! Boom! <laughs> Uh, 
Let's pick up this engagement ring while we're over here. Iron Rift says, I hate stalkers so much. I'm with you on that. I don't really care for them either. They don't seem to be too prevalent, I don't think, in the fucking pirate booty DLC, I don't think. Mostly you're fighting the pirates and the sandworms. A lot of different kinds of pirates in this. It's I'm I really appreciate the rebranding and like retexturing and everything of all of the bandit enemy types. Cause they all have like the same <clears throat> they've all got the same like basic model um and like attack pattern preferences and that kind of thing. Um, they're still all programmed the same way, but, like, they've been given different skins, and some of them have been, um, like, altered a little bit, like, uh, like, you get, like, the cursed pirates that will just start to heal, right? You've got the, um, the ones that have the swords that'll just, like, buff up and come after you. Yeah, they're they're just they're just bandits reskinned as pirates. But it, that's cool. I'm totally fine with that. Because it would have been like a lot for them to just come up with completely new enemies. But this is a really good like reuse of them. It fits very well. Like, all of them fit very well for the, uh, like, the environment and the theme that they're going for. Look at, look at this, yeah, you got, like, the cloth wrapped around them. Like, to hide their skin from the desert heat, right? Hiding their faces. They're, they're not wearing, like, the gas masks so much, because they're not, like, in the, uh, in the arid badlands where there's all kinds of toxic bullshit. They're just out here in the desert. So they, like, wrap themselves up. They got these hats. You know, a lot of them, um, we like, whether they use guns or not, like, they got, like, swords on them and shit. But it's cool, because, like, they got, like, the, like, the Corsair and the Gunner and the, like, the different types of, like, the different types of pirates, but they all they all still have a pirate feel to them. You'd think you can only, like, reskin and rebrand, uh, like, a gunner pirate so many times, right? And I guess maybe they just hit the limit. And we're lucky enough to not go over, but... I think it was pulled off really well. And you'll find that similarly in, um... In some of the other DLCs where enemies have been just rebranded. And in some cases it's... It kind of sucks. Like the skeletons, for example, are like another rebranding of the... Uh, like some of the psychos. Um, but then... Then you've got... Um, I don't particularly care for the skeletons. I don't particularly care for them because they're harder to hit, I think. They usually, like, it's harder to damage them, I find. Um, not a great rebranding of the psychos. Uh, stalkers are always cute and fuzzy until they grow up. Here. Money. Woo. Uh, but you'll find... Um, Once we get into, like, the uh, Dragon's Keep DLC, they've got the, like, the stone golems that effectively replace the goliaths, and I find that those, like, really, really work very well. Working hard, yes? Alright, we have to actually go propose for them. Yeah, the golems are really cool enemies. Uh, their weak points are shifted around from, uh, 
from where the Goliaths are. And, uh, but they work on, like, the same, uh, process of, like, they'll fight enemies once they pop off. And, um, and then they'll level up and get stronger and drop more loot. And just see what she says, huh? Okay. See, it's funny, because, like, Shade set this whole thing up, right? He's like, oh, I need you to propose to this lady for me. The lady who's dead. He knows is dead. And he's, like, come up and he set her up with this speaker and, and a tape and everything, right? Um, and it's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. He, he wrote the script with her tapes so that like he would get rejected ah ha ha uh, even even he pretending to be her doesn't want to marry him that's how but he's so bad he can't even he can't even marry himself ah ha ha, ha. but um it's very easy to just like overlook the fact that like like there was shade's opportunity to be just like a creep and like oh she's dead she's well, she can't possibly say no, right? But he's, despite him losing his mind and playing puppet with, like, all of his friends' corpses, um, that seems to be a boundary that he's, like, not willing to cross. Um, that he's, he's, he's not gonna, like, force himself on his dead companions, um, simply because they can't object to it now. Um, which I guess, <laughs> I guess it's not really... I don't know, you probably shouldn't be like, hey, good for him, round of applause for not being a necrophile. But, like, I don't know, good, I, I feel like good for him for, like, respecting that boundary or whatever, right? Um, for respecting that, like, the lack of consent and, and that kind of thing. Because that could have easily gone the other way, right? He could have, like, recorded the tape to be like, Oh, yes, I love you. I love you so much. And I'll show you how much I love you. And we'd be like, Ah, ha, 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 ha. Uh, oh, you creep. Uh. But I think that's interesting, like, to, that it kind of shows that, like, despite him kind of losing his mind in this scenario, uh, he's still hanging on to some semblance of decency. Which is ironic to say, given, you know, again, the puppeteering act that he's been pulling here. Oh, do I already have that one? Shit. Does that say we have, like, a whole bunch of, yeah, undiscovered... Oh, because these are all, like, the, the treasure hunter whatevers. Message in a bottle. That's it. No more. Another line and I have to pay for it. God, that joke has never been more relevant. Like, ever. So, find the treasure. Um, you find a note in a sealed bottle pointing you towards some hidden treasure in Oasis. Um... All you really know is, like, look for the X that marks the spot for the treasure. And there it is. There's the first one. You uncovered the hidden treasure, proving that messages and bottles hold a purpose beyond sappy melodrama. Work. 
Captain Blade's Orphan Maker. Makes orphans. Often. Curse of the Nefarious Backlash. So, this is an interesting gun. Oh, and Rifts is back with some lunch. Excellent. Excellent. Eat up, my man, my dude, or my lady, whatever. Eat the hell up. So this is a cool gun. This pirate gun. It's a shotgun. It actually looks really... We can get a, a closer look at it. Yeah, it's actually got like a like a nice print on it. Very piratey. The stripes and the polka dots there. Um, does quite a bit of damage. Decently strong weapon. But uh, I think it... I think it shoots back at you if you manage to hit... Um, hit your enemies. I am a dude confirms I am Riz. Okay. Sorry, did did not want to offend. I know that's a that's a thing now where people get upset for assuming gender. Uh, pick up explosives, find whiskey. How far out are these? That one's there. That one's farther out. That one's farther out. Alright, let's start with this one. Actually, I guess we should probably start with the farthest one and then work our way back, right? That one's right there. How far? Ooh. Alright, yeah, let's go take care of that one. Fine gold teeth, peg legs. Actually, you know... That's gonna come about from killing pirates, isn't it? Hmm. And Riff says, yep, I get asked for my pronouns a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I guess people just uh, want to be sure nowadays, huh? Oh, this is where we got to come to blow. This is the ship we got to pop, I think. I don't know that we're supposed to be here just yet. Oh... Yeah! Woo! Perfect. Right into the... Right into the place. Into the parking spot. So, I cannot remember... Huh. I could have sworn that this gun, like, shot you back. Yeah, it does too. I lick your spine clean. I think you take damage, yeah, whenever you shoot with this gun. Or whenever you land a shot. There's there's fucking backlash damage to it. So it's okay. It's, it's not too bad as a gun, but, like, if you've got, a, like, a, a low shield and, um, and a low health, then you probably don't want to be using it a whole lot. Because you're going to end up going down quite a bit. Cool gun. Cool gun. Not sure if it's for us, though. Cursed pirate, yeah, see, these guys will just heal the whole fucking time. Big pain in the ass, those guys. Alright, let's see. Let's take you guys out one at a time, and then go get our objective. Whoop. Now, hold on. I popped him. Oh, I'm, like, way over-leveled for this. That's why. I was gonna say, I popped that guy. Yeah, I only got one experience point. 
They're not actually worth killing, it seems. Because we came in here way too late. I think we were supposed to do the headhunters last. It said to do them after the uh, Siege on Sanctuary thing. Which, I don't know if I buy that. I don't know if they're like that late in the chronology, but... I mean, I guess we did do them too early. But gold teeth and peg legs. Where? In there? Did I go the wrong way that hard? I'm so confused. I'm super confused about this map and how to maneuver it. I'm gonna get back in my sand skiff. No, wait. Over here is where we get the whiskey. Ah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Get back. Get back. All of you get back. Yeah, these guys would be a lot tougher to take down if we weren't super over leveled for this part. Okay, we have the whiskey to give back. What about the explosives? They're over there on the way to where we gotta go get the teeth. So let's get in the skiff and let's let's go get some teeth and explosives from the same area. <laughs> Man, if, you're, if your dentist also deals with, like, explosives or pyrotechnics or anything like that, you should probably find a new dentist. I'm just saying, you don't, you don't want, like, the... You, you don't want, like, the, um... Like, the chemical explosives getting mixed up with your, uh... Like, your freezant. Freezant? The, the... The freezing stuff, the numbing agent. Or anything like that. We just went in like a big circle there. How in the sh- Oh. Oh, I think I know. I think I know what the problem is. We gotta go up here. Go along the top. Yeah, that's the issue. Now, can I get over there with this? I can just drop in here with it. What? Okay, so now that I've, like, got my fucking ship stuck in here, can I get it out? That's the question. Yeah, let's take the stairs. Take it, take this. Oh, no. Uh-oh. See, this is really cool, like, since the thing floats, just because it's tipped over doesn't mean that it's crashed and that you have to get out. Okay, but now it might... Now it might mean... Okay. No. I may be stuck in here now. No? Okay, hey, look at that. Okay. Wait, that's where I just was. And that's how you get up there. Son of a bitch! Okay, and you do in fact have to go back up there. Did I like pass by it or something? I have such a hard time reading this map. Oh, hey. Gold teeth. Right, this is where we get the teeth and the peg legs. Rat 
rapscallion. It's a it's a good word for you, butto. He needs ten teeth. And why does why does this guy trying to be a pirate need five peg legs? How many legs does he have? And and why does he need like five fake ones? Are all of his legs broken? Or or is like like is he missing the one leg and he just wants a lot of spares or One on the floor. How did I... How did the mission change? Oh. Oh, because that's why. One, two... La Is that the last of the peg legs? Two more teeth. I need two. And you know, it's they're not dropping just like individual teeth. They're dropping like full sets of gold dentures. So again, like how many, how many mouths does this guy like need teeth for? How many teeth does he need? Now I can bring them back to him. I guess. Shit, there's supposed to be somebody on me. Oh no, above me. My flesh is forever. <laughs> Let's get up there and put that guy in his place, shall we? You stop shooting. That's rude. Very rude. Okay, now I blew past the splosives. They're up here somewhere. These things need to get the fuck out of my way. Iriff says maybe he's legless and armless and needs an extra leg if you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. He, he needs that extra third leg. The kickstand, as it were. Now, where exactly are the boomsticks? Big old, big old boom pops. In the boat here. That is this boat. Using bombs on a boat to blow up another boat. A lot of boats in the mix. Right there. Yeah, I drove right past them. Thanks for agreeing to destroy Graham Graham's old ship. I don't want to tell you the kind of stuff she was guilty of. But let's just say it rhymes with child schmafficking with some schmanibalism on the side. Schmanibalism. Rhymes with schmanibalism. Hey man, when you're out in the desert and there's no meat or or any other kind of food. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe the cartoons are right. Maybe people start looking like food. Some people say that by completing these quests for shade, you're enabling his delusional behavior and accelerating this downward spiral into madness. Those people are stupid. I enjoy. Oh, these pirate things are so wonderful. Jocko will love them almost as much as he loves telling those hilarious jokes and not being dead of thirst. All right, where's the next one? We gotta bring that to Frank. Frank, you alcoholic shit. I have your whiskey for you. I am a tough man who says tough things in a growling voice. I can... Hey, you have a problem, Frank. Your 
so drunk you're speaking the gibberish. Please return to me, friend. <laughs> is beyond help. You are so drunk. You are speaking the gibberish. <laughs> Fucking shade. What's that, Frank? You you say we can have the whiskey? Oh, that's so kind of you. He said I could take it, Shade. I heard him. It's probably for the best that Frank is already dead. The booze you just collected would have killed him anyway. Please don't leave. I'm lonely. Uh. Iris, is, I wouldn't imagine baby tastes bad. <laughs> Oh, you barbecue it a little bit, throw some sauce on it. And then ask, what are you eating? I am eating sour cherry blasters. It's basically gelatin with sugar on it. <laughs> Bury in the past. Uh, sounds amazing, Cyber Riffs. They're not bad. They're all right. They're like uh, like like sour gummy worms or or sour keys or uh, like fuzzy peaches or or anything like that. I just like these ones in particular because of the uh, just like their particular flavor, right? Cyber Riffs says I don't eat candy like that though. Oh, oh, interesting. I'm not a I'm not a big candy fan. Like I'm not huge into like candy or chocolate or anything like that. There are a few that I don't mind, and I do like to keep a couple of whatever I enjoy on hand. I usually have like a box of Smarties kicking around or a container full of uh, full of cherry blasters. I don't have like drawers and drawers full of this shit though. Not like some people who, uh, who, who I know exist out there. Secret hidden drawer compartments stuffed full of candy. Closet candy eating binges. Blow the Cronus to hell. Where is... God dang... Oh, it's on the other side, isn't it? In if um, oh no, it's up top, isn't it? Up there somewhere, I would imagine. On. Up there or up here? Where is it? Where the fuck is the plunger? Ah, oh, right there. Boom! Big ol' hole. Right off the ramp. I was trying to do a kickflip. <laughs> was what was the input for kickflip like? Back forward X. God, it's been a long time since I've played a Tony Hawk game. I feel like that's like that's the input for a kickflip though. And then like a heel flip would be like back forward square. Was it forward back X? I can't remember. Oh god, there's so many fucking tricks and inputs in that game. Those games. Ugh. With her great-grandma erased from history, Aubrey can now attempt to live a normal life, free of child schmafficking. I goddamn hate my great-grandma. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I am Riss says, For reasons of getting stuck to my teeth, and hands getting sticky, then my controller getting sticky. Um, says, I do I have, like, three bags of uh, hot Cheetos... One Takis bag, one full container of Sprite and Coke, and then, like, Snickers or Reese's Cups in my fridge. Lasted me, like, a month. That's not too bad. 
As long as it's uh, it's lasting you like a good long while like that. I was uh I'm I'm almost ashamed to say this. Um but not quite. Uh my my favorite snack. I I quit eating like chips and like like oily snacks and like a lot of stuff um that I really enjoyed but is just like bad for my skin and my health. Um but I do still eat and absolutely love um it's the Doritos, uh, Doritos Dynamite Chili Lemon things, um, little rolled up Doritos, like spicy lime flavored. Uh, those things are delicious. Uh, I, I fucking love those. Um, so I eat the absolute shit out of them. Dinamites, yeah, those things, yeah. I love the shit out of those. Uh, when I first started eating them, um, after they, like, replaced a whole bunch of shit in my diet, um, a whole bunch of garbage shit, um, they stopped making them here in Canada, like, just for the, um, because it was when lockdown and quarantine first started because of the whole COVID thing, right? Uh, so they, they had to input, like, a whole bunch of new, um, like, health and safety procedures and all that kind of thing. What? Which slowed down uh, production to their um, like their essential lineup, I guess. Um, I know because I emailed them. They stopped selling them on the shelves for a while here, and I couldn't get my hands on them for like months. So I emailed them. I was like, "Hey, hey, these are like an important part of of my food habits now. Where do they go?" And they're like, it's okay, it's okay, they'll be back, like, it, like at the end of this month here. And sure, shit, they came back. Uh, but it was still at the point where, like, we didn't know, like, if, like, we were, like, coming out or going back into a, a lockdown or, or what's going on. Um, so, like, mom was in the habit of, like, just grab what you can at the grocery store or while you're out, like, food and supply-wise, and then we just, we have it in case it runs out everywhere else again. Uh, so, every time she went out to the store um, and, and she saw them on the shelves, she'd grab a couple of bags. And at one point, I ended up with, like, 13 bags of Doritos in my closet. And I was like, I don't, I don't need you to grab them when you do groceries this week or next week. <laughs> and she's like, why? Do you... Do you not want them anymore? I was like, no, no, I just, I have like 13 bags. Plus the one that I'm eating right now, so. <laughs> if you want to just like, you know, save a couple bucks on groceries this week, that's, that's okay. And then I promptly went through them and, uh, and I'm back down to just keeping a few on hand. But yeah, I like, I like to keep like, a. Uh, like a handful of those like bags of those in the in the closet there <laughs> just just for when i run out then there's more Yeah, after after I started eating those, uh, switching off of like um, like potato chips and uh, and that kind of shit, um, my skin cleared up real well. I stopped getting uh, zits all over the place all the goddamn time, um, and it's really funny. Or well, it's not funny it, actually. It's I guess interesting might be the word for it, um, but like occasionally I'll, I'll have the craving. For like a bag of chips or whatever and i'll have a bag and then i get a fucking breakout off of one bag i end up with zits in like just the worst place like the inside of my nose and all kinds of uncomfortable places and every time i'm reminded don't eat these things this is why we stopped eating them in the first place
So we come up here. I've, it's up there, isn't it? Up top, up top. How do I get up there? Over here? There we go. I remember this is, oh, that sucks. They're so good, but makes my stomach grumble so much. <laughs> oh, I love those fucking things, man. My, oh, god damn. A message in a bottle. Maybe it'll lead to some treasure. Spoilers, it will. I've got a rather picky stomach um, as well. I I have a... Um, for those of you who don't know yet, um, I have a stomach ulcer, which um, is a... It's, it's just like a growth, uh, which forms... Um, so a little biology brush up here for you guys. Uh, your esophagus connects to your stomach, right? And there's like a flap at the top of your stomach that opens and closes to let food in. Um, this growth that I have, this ulcer, is a growth um, just underneath the flap uh, that opens and closes on top of my stomach, which means that the flap doesn't close all the way. Uh, it lets air into my stomach, which ends up screwing with the um, the stomach acid levels, which can cause me to feel sick, or it can cause me to feel like I'm full when I haven't eaten anything all day, um, which then leads to pain and discomfort. Um, wide range of um, of things, and. Um, it, it makes like the things that I can eat like it like it's it's very picky the things that it'll it'll that will settle in my stomach properly uh, I can't have things that are like overly greasy uh, or like super fatty or anything like that because um, the grease doesn't settle well it makes me feel sick um, I can't have anything that's like super carbonated um, like I can, I can have like a like a a bottle of of Coke or or root beer or whatever, but I have to drink it very carefully. Otherwise, I end up like swallowing air with it, and like I get these big pockets of gas in my stomach, and it's a uh, it's not great. It's not great. But the the spicy dinamito, dinamito, whatever, <laughs> the Dorito roll things, I call them the Dorito tubes. Um. Those things sit nice and fine. They're they're real good in there. I have a preference for spicy food though, so that might have something to do with it. I used to drink hot sauce. Well, <laughs> one of those uh, say it like dynamites. Yeah, like the bomb dynamites. Okay, yeah. The dynamites. Oh, okay. Uh, my, yeah, my food is ready. Um, my dinner's ready, so I will be back in just a second. I'm gonna tower. I'm gonna get it. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere, guys. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. I am back. I'm back with my food. Ready to go. Hand it over. And I'm being attacked. Great. Wonderful. Hey, stranger, you give me a hand with Sandman's boys. I'll make it worth your while, alright? Sandman's boys. Where are they? Oh, right there.
Oh man, they exploded from the harpoons. That's cool. God, we can just run over the worms. All right, now she's gonna drop the the what's it, the ladder. My fucking brain, like it'll look at a thing and go, yeah, I know what that is. Oh, what it's called? Oh, I mm, give me a minute. <laughs> Ugh, these are just gonna be ammo. Uh, uh. Oh. It's funny, like, after playing for so long, you get to figure, like, these fucking containers, always gonna have ammo in them. Always gonna have ammo. The chests, like the treasure chests and the lockers, they could have ammo, or they could have money, or guns, or whatever. Like, if you're, yeah, if you're looking for purple brick, you want to look, like, in the lockers, but not waste your time elsewhere. Okay. Nice moves out there. You're a wolf hunter, yeah? Never met one of you guys before. The guns, the power, it's all very striking. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you've come to the right chick, but oh, I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself to that a lot. Sorry. I'm, um, Captain Scarlet. We'll absolutely stab you in the back. This bitch. Nice Alright. Here she is, in the flesh. And robot parts. Mm. Where in the shit? There we go. Lady Scarlet. This is Captain Scarlet. Her interests are treasure, adventure, and shooting unarmed people. Same. <laughs> I think those are Krieg's interests as well, probably. Or whatever Vault Hunter you'd be playing as. Okay. Kill Sandman. He was supposed to bring me a dream and make it the finest I ever seen. But that bitch, he fucking shortchanged me. Smells like victory. Mercer has a tiny problem. His name? Shiv Spike. Mercer here. I just finished cooking up a badass meal of gasoline and shoe polish, but nobody can enjoy it with Shiv Spike around. Have you met Shiv Spike? He's a radio operator. You should go meet him. Alright, meet Shiv Spike. This motherfucker. Oh man, how much do you charge for that? So he's all tied up to that spike. And they're like, man, fuck Shiv Spike, but we want to make sure he gets eaten. So go get the ketchup and the mustard. Uh, declaration against independence. <laughs> Stand together. This is to the jackass who just arrived at Oasis. We don't take kindly to independent treasure hunters around here. We're union sand pirates. Now we're calling you out, scab. Our union versus you. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. <sighs> sand pirates union, huh? I wonder what that, like, 
Like, what do they do? What would a Sand Pirates Union do? Like, who do you plead to to get, like, better working conditions as a Sand Pirate? And how does the person that you plead your case to not just shoot you for even asking the question? Scurvy is caused by vitamin C deficiency. That's true. That's very true. Big problem for pirates back in the day before they, uh, before they realized. You can counteract it by drinking orange juice every so often. Don't say video games never taught you any. That's actually super true. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, vitamin C, citrus, uh, oranges, lemons, uh, limes, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Vitamin C. It's important so that you don't get scurvy. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, like, pirates were, like, afflicted with it real bad because, like, uh, or, like, pirates and sailors as well, like, of, of all kinds, right? Because they'd be out at sea for so long, um, you know, with their food supplies dwindling and, you know, they just may not have brought, uh, any citrus with them, right? They may not have brought barrels of oranges and limes and, and shit. Uh, so, like, if you, you spend weeks or months out at sea without any citrus in your system, you're gonna get scurvy at some point. Um, but the same thing totally applies, like, on land as well. If you go for an extended period of time without citrus or without vitamin C in your body, uh, you will in fact get scurvy, like living on land. Very important to get your, uh, your vitamin C and your citrus. Lemons, limes, oranges. Eat them up, guys. Eat them up and do yourself a favor. I really like to um, to just eat lemons like oranges. <laughs> eat a lemon like you do an orange. And in fact, my favorite way to get citrus into your system um, is to mix it with a bit of whiskey and iced tea. <laughs> um, yeah, I. You, you guys might know my um, like my spring summer. I I don't know what, what what fucking season do I drink that in? Anytime between the spring and the fall. Any type of year, really. Um, but typically, any time between the spring and the fall. Um, I like um, like a nice like tall glass of uh, like whiskey. A little bit of lime juice. or Sorry, a little bit of lemon juice. A lot of lime juice. And then just fill it up the rest of the way with iced tea. great way to get the citrus into your system i mean of course drink responsibly and only if you are of legal drinking age in your home wherever in your home oh god damn it i didn't mean to hit the x button I just kind of rolled my thumb across it. Like, I didn't even, like, try to push it or, like, like accidentally push it. Like, I just, like, r rolled it across the button. Alright, three more. One, two, three. Where's the last one? There it is. Some vitamins? 
<laughs> Sandman ate my parents. Why? Why is that what he's fucking whining about after he just shot himself? I, I guess because like, hey, you know it would make you feel better. Be like, bud, no, nothing's gonna make me feel better because the Sandman. He ate them, man. Old Murphy's Canyon. I love you. All right, we'll just leave the skiff there, and hopefully they'll. Yeah, don't don't attack it. Don't attack my sandboat. Come in here. Message in a bottle. That's where this is, I think. I versus all right. I'm back with a one pound bag of Skittles. I never knew I had. Oh, jeez. Well, that's the best, huh? Where you're just going through your shit and you're like, oh my god, surprise candy. Sur surprise food. Forgot I had this in here. I went like, I don't know, m like months forgetting I had like a little bit of jam left in a jar in the fridge. And then I had the bit of jam and I was like, oh my god, that was so good. I want more jam. But it's, it's still not time to make more jam. <laughs> Mom don't make jam till like June. The end of June. It's tradition to go strawberry picking on the last, uh, like, half day of school. Pick up my brother and, and my cousins from, from school on their half day. And then they go strawberry picking. And then they make jam. And then I eat the... I just eat slash drink the jam straight out of the jar. You don't want to put it on bread or anything like that. You'd sully the jam. It's like thick, like, it's like thick juice with, with chunks of fruit in it. It's amazing. And sometimes mom makes the, t the kiwi jam with tequila in it. And I mean, like, that's just half drink already. So you might as well just put a straw in it and go to town. It's really good if you put it in the freezer and you let it like freeze solid and then pull it out and let it like thaw a little bit so it's like sherbety almost. Real fucking good. And be careful not to like freeze your teeth biting into uh, into cold fruit though. Good boy have I done that. So good though. beautiful misery. It's okay, I got my I got my fruit fix the other day. I asked mom to make um bruschetta. I think uh like fruit bruschetta. It's just like um it's like a sliced baguette with, um, like, cinnamon sugar on it. Um, like, baked with cinnamon sugar on it. And then you make this, like, cream cheese, um, this, like, cream cheese and lemon spread for it. And then you just, like, top it with, like, like chopped fruit. So I stood there in front of the counter and I ate, like, half a baguette with, like, just cream cheese and fruit on it. It's fucking delicious. Uh, Iris says, I danced for two minutes, it hit my ankle on my desk, oh no! And then proceeded to 
abused my desk for hitting my ankle, and the vibe was killed right there. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry your desk ruined the mood, man. The victory over found Skittles was cut short. Because a new rival has, has appeared. Since we're right here, we can run these two missions back. We really should just, like, go around and do the other ones, but it was, it was just fine. It's fine. We'll turn them in. As far as I remember, um, a lot of the DLCs are, like, they run on the same sort of format as, like, you initially come in and they'll give you a clump of quests and you finish them, you go off to do the story mission and then you get a clump of quests and etc. right, repeat. Bush. I am a second collection of hatred and Oh man. You know, I think I'm gonna miss him. Anyway, good job. Come on back. <laughs> Fuck Shiv Spike. What a good guy. Uh Bon Appetit. Actually, you know what? I don't miss him at all. <laughs> uh you've collected enough fruit to stave off scurvy. Murray may have a bullet in his leg, but at least he'll get his vitamin C. Don't worry about Murray. He'll be fine. Until he finds out I'm the one who killed his parents. But they were dicks, so whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Did you a solid, Murray? Hmm. I and I almost knocked my laptop off it. My heart has never dropped so fast. Oh, jeez. It be be real careful. Don't fucking trash your laptop, man. Mine is still semi busted over in the corner. It has yet to be uh, fixed or anything. This hurts my brain. I was considering um, it's gonna like it's gonna need to be replaced at some point. Uh, but I was thinking about possibly. Um... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I was thinking about possibly uh, turning it into a an emulator machine, like just I, like I strip all the parts out of the lab because the screen is busted, right? Uh, the screen is just right fucked, uh, and in order to replace the screen would just I don't know, it wouldn't be worth it on something that old. Uh, but like I could pull the parts out of it. Um, and put them into like a, uh, like a plastic case or something. And then just like, use it exclusively for emulating. That would save me having to have, um... That's saving me having to have them all, like, on the work computer there. And free up a whole bunch of space. Destroy Union vehicles. Oh, they're in, like, a, like a special area. They're gonna just, like, run out and shoot. Washburn Fen. God, it just takes one harpoon and they're done. You gotta land the harpoon shot, though. That's the thing. I guess that's because we're coming in here so overleveled. I don't know that they would do that much damage if we were, like, on par with them. Now, where in the shit... Tell me that though, like there was only 
two Union vehicles in that group. Out of the, like, what, four or five that I got? And for says, I'm going to try and farm a new Herald. Ooh. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Get you so... Oh, god damn it. And wrong button. Ugh, damn it. Get you a new gun for your build. Get you a new, a p new piece for your setup. Riptide Reef. So these look like uh, like less recent structures that were built like more after the uh, the water has drained out. How in the shit do I? Oh, that's right, that's right. They're vehicles. Right, there's supposed to be vehicles around here, but there's not. Oh no, they go back and forth between there and here. That's right. Union vehicles, yep. Yeah. Four, all right. How? Yeah, how did the other ones not count before? Oh, because they, they just spit out raider skiffs. Not all of them are union vehicles. That's shitty. Alright, where, well, where are the last ones? Come on, you fuckwits. Ah, right there. Okay, and one more. Where's this one? Up there. What in the sh Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so we gotta go this way. I think that goes up a ramp. And then we gotta go in. This, this place is rather difficult to navigate. Um... Much like the last area, because, like, they're just big circles, pretty much. With, uh, the, the environment looks the same all over, right? It's just these, like, fossilized coral reefs over and over. Which can make it a little difficult to pinpoint where you are exactly. If you're not following the map, if you're not too familiar with the area itself. That's where I gotta go. And I can get where I'm going by going this way, so. Yeah, there it is. Right there. So I think we want to come up that ramp there and then go straight in. And that's, oh, I think that's right outside where we went and got the condiments from. I think we came up here and then went off, maybe. I don't know. Alright, find the tracer. Hedgeland camp. Now, I don't know if I remember where the X is here. Some of the, uh, the X's that mark the spots are rather well hidden. Some of them are, you know, kind of out in the open there. Um... But some of them are actually, like, really well hidden. You just walk by them over and over again and you don't notice. Like, the first one, I don't know how many times I have circled that area, like, in the, like, the zone behind all the buildings there, trying to find the X, and f just completely forgetting where it was. And there were many a time where, like, I can picture the X on the door in my mind and I'm thinking that it's like somewhere else entirely in that zone. You found a treasure.
Hmm. All right. I feel a deep, dark so, Captain Blade seems to genuinely care about his people. He understands the bigger picture in the issue. I don't know if this is meant to be like two anchors crossed like a like an X that marks the spot or if they're like this was a super anchor that somebody had tied to their ship and then it dropped or whatever. I mean there's another anchor here that's been like detached for God knows how long. So it wouldn't surprise me if they were both like just tied to the same boat. I could have sworn. I could have sworn that there was like um. Oh no, I thought there was it would have been like a uh, like red herring over here. Uh, like a like an X made out of stones that are just piled up. Um, but it's. I'm just I'm I'm misremembering. I came over here once. Um. And, like, for whatever reason, like, when I scanned over the X, it wouldn't, the button wouldn't pop up. The The game can be buggy sometimes. I mean, the old version of the game could be buggy. Like, the original 360 version. The Handsome Collection is actually rather f nicely polished. Very nicely polished. I was doing the uh, circled slaughter missions the other day, um, and Hyde saw me um, doing them, and made comment of just like how sharp everything was and all that. Right? They did a very good job with this collection. Ironford says, "What are you eating now? Pizza?" Uh, no, actually, it is. Um... Oh fuck! That's I. Did I not go the right way? No, that's not the right way. Uh, I am eating a steak sandwich that mom made for dinner. Just uh, fried up steak meat and uh, there's like a like a garlic sauce or whatever on the bread and uh, melted cheese. She usually puts um. Uh, like barbecue sauce on it as well. I don't like mine with the barbecue sauce though. You don't like shiver me timbers? We'll shiver them for you. I mean, a lady shouldn't have to shiver her own timbers now, should she? That's just inconsiderate. Let's see what's at the fucking thing here. Sir Hammerlock has a job for me. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So you want me to hunt it down and slice its face off, right? Right? That's how it, how it, right? Haters Folly. Oh, they all go in there, huh? Yeah, they all go in. she's honest at least she's straight up about it like hey you are not worth as much as I am in my opinion so and that's fair I get that whoa this is some unloaded ass texture 
that's not great. The ground has, like, yet to render. That's embarrassing. Oh, man. And I was just talking about how they did a really good job with this. Oh, video game. You're making me look like I'm full of shit. I've seen that a couple times. I've seen that happen like once or twice in small areas. And it's weird because like it almost looks like wet sand. Like it's supposed to be like sand on top of the rocks. But it's very clearly like a texture that hasn't loaded yet. There was supposed to be like, I guess the same texture layered over it. To create depth and it just hasn't come in yet iris is that's how it's supposed to be i think i don't think so man maybe on the original version but like upscale i don't oh it may be because there's a small patch of it here that kind of looks the same maybe it is supposed to look like that oh but it's like all over up here it's, oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like this at all. It's like they fucking just failed to upscale for, like, this whole area in, in just weird little spots. That's so weird. Yeah, like, I feel like it's supposed to look like this, right? Like, the stone texture, but finer. It's, I think it's supposed to look like this, and it just hasn't popped in yet. It's super fucked. We'll find out when we come back. When we, uh, come out of Hater's Folly. Now, we can see here, it shows that we've got Hater's Folly, where that undiscovered mission is, which is where we are. We've got Magnus' Lighthouse, which is where the undiscovered mission is, and we've got the Rust Yard, which is where the undiscovered mission is. So we know that we've got three more areas including the one that we're in um Yeah, so that's got to be super frustrating that Shade's friends all died on account of this oasis here. On, on account of them not knowing that this was here, sorry. Um, but yeah, the quest log there um, is very generous to show us just how many areas we have left in this DLC, which gives us kind of an inkling as to how long... It'll take us to complete. Now, since we are many levels ahead of where we should be for this, uh, we should be able to just breeze right through it. No problem at all. Which is good because uh, the ending is one that we can actually do twice. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We can uh, we do the ending twice to get big fun rewards for it. And it's not like an increase in difficulty or anything, it's just like the same thing over again. It's a good thing no one in Oasis is dying of thirst. <laughs> Otherwise the sight of that enormous spring might fill me with a tragic rage. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's a it's a good thing your friends already died, right? 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 Oh. 
All right, there's another one. There's a bottle up here, up there. But you need to come down on the elevator to get it, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, geez, look at that. Hey, another message in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Na 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 na. Sting used to be in the police. That's <laughs> how that song goes, right? Weird that, like, the police. We like, weird that a band called The Police would write a song about stalking somebody. Every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. Like, what the f. Why? Why, man? Shouldn't you, of all. Legally impersonating people know throat, how illegal that is. So we come to fight Grendel, who is a um, a figure in uh, I want to say Norse mythology. Uh, I think he was like one of the first monsters or something like that. Um, he's part of Beowulf's tale. Grendel, I believe, is the creature that Beowulf had to slay. Anyway, th this is to be a reference to that, and what we have here is just a bully mong with um, a tire on his back, and I'm not sure what's going on with his face there. His face is some sort of just like rounded husk with spikes coming out. It's almost like he's got like a spider ant husk for a face. <laughs> Iron Riff says it's not illegal if they don't know. Mm, mm, mm. I used to have a baseball cap that said it's not illegal if you don't Never get caught. <laughs> and <laughs> I never fucking wore that thing. I I saw it on the shelf and I was like, yes, I have to have that just just to have. Just to have at home. And then never wore it because I don't I don't do well in hats. I don't do well in most hats. The hat collection that I have finally curated seems to work very well though. And by finally curated, I mean the hats were that were generously gifted to me by Hyde when he was um, when he was working that warehouse gig. For them people who make the hats. I don't know. Can't remember. I remember him being real excited for that one. Um, every time he come home from uh, from work, he like he'd come over to Moss and he'd be like, "Yo, so I went through this all this shit at work today, right?" And we got all these this cool memorabilia in the warehouse. And I'm like, man, I didn't even know half of this shit existed. That's so cool. And like, I totally know the feel. Because like, I've worked... Um, two of the best jobs I think I've ever... Well... No, sorry. The, be the best job that I've ever had um, has been working the Halloween season shift, I think. Um, at, a, at a couple different places. Um, I, di I did one one season at Spirit, actually. Um, and then one at, um, was it Party City, I think, while, when they were still Party Packagers. I actually did two seasons at Party Packagers for that. Um, but yeah, the Halloween season um, at a place like that that, like you know, caters to Halloween is really cool because, uh, like, working retail 
um, you you get to like you have to handle all the product, right? You have to put it out on the shelf. Um, if need be, you have to price it, that kind of thing. Uh, and if people are looking for shit, you need to know where it is so you can direct them. You need to know about the product so you can tell them about it, etc. Uh, everything that goes into a regular retail position. But you're dealing with all kinds of like Halloween decor and costumes and accessories and all kinds of cool shit. And like... Depending on where you are, um, like uh, like when I was working at Spirit, there were shipments coming in. I think like twice a week. Um, so so like deliveries would come in and new stuff would come off of the truck like twice a week, and there, there's just always new stuff to be looking at. There's always cool stuff to check out and grab your attention. One of the most interesting jobs, I think, just on account of, like, all of the product that you get to handle. Working warehouse gigs is, is very similar, because you end up going through, um... Similarly, you end up going through a lot of different product, and, um... Seeing what's all there, and... and seeing all the cool shit that the warehouse sells, right? Um, I did a gig at, like, a, an educational supply warehouse. So, like, every... They they did supplies for, like, everything from kindergarten up to university. So, you would get, like, finger paints and baby's first book to teach them how to read. Uh, but then you'd also get, like... Like, fucking, um... What, what is it? Like, the health class, uh, like, birthing simulator dolls? To show, like, how childbirth goes, like, for, like, uh, like, doctors and nurses who are training and shit. Um, you'd have, like, um... You, you'd have stuff for, like, uh, like, like, farm... Farmhand training? Right? Like, all the equipment needed to, like, birth animals and um, and like feed them and give them their shots and everything they like that uh, like all kinds of weird shit in there cuz they cater to like all different kinds of educational institutes right Way back when, Sandman and I were like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I rem I remember one of my first few days at that warehouse um I, I had to help some lady, and she was just like, yeah, we're just sorting things today. So you're sure you got the upper hand. Uh, one of my first few days there, uh, they had me just like go help this one lady who worked in the back of the warehouse. And, uh, she worked in, um, it was, like, the medical education area, where, like, all, like, the university, um, like, doctor supplies would be, right? Like, uh, like, for training the med students. Um, I just realized I have the wrong thing on here. Uh, and she's like, yeah, we're, we're just, like, sorting today, so you gotta go through and just, like see what's in the box and like you know if it's in like a cardboard box you like you write on the side what it is how many it is are in it right um if there's a barcode on it write the barcode on the side um so okay cool no problem and i go through and i'm opening up boxes and and it's just like normal stuff right like you got like um like, like, you just got, like, smocks and beakers and, and things like that in there. Um, and then I open up a box, and staring at me is just, like, a fake rubber vagina. <laughs> and I, I'm staring at this thing, and I'm like, mm, what? This can't... I know what this... Like, I know what I'm looking at, but this can't possibly be real. I can't possibly be staring at this. In, in this 
in this warehouse. Like, I, I have to be having a fever dream right now. <laughs> and, like, I started to giggle to myself profusely. And, like, I closed the lid. And I, I took a breath. I opened it back up. And it's still there. It's still, like, a rubber vagina staring at me in this box. <laughs> so... I start to lose my shit and I just start laughing. I go, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I don't know what to write on this box here. I, what, why is this in here? What is this? And she comes over, she look, and she goes, oh, that's like, that's part of the birthing simulator, right? And she pulls it out and it's attached to this like, this is like a bag or something to simulate the uterus and it's like, like, to, to illustrate how it, like, births through the opening and everything. Um, and it, like, she showed me all the parts to it and everything. I was like, oh, okay, that, that makes sense, I guess. Um, but you know what? I'll let you label this one. I'll let you pack it away and label that, because... You'll, you'll probably put a more professional, less smart-ass label on on the box than I will <laughs> you want to talk like weird surreal experiences that's that's up there for like top weirdest shit I've ever found like in a box at work the other top contender would be um at the party packagers, I got called up to the front, like, to help on cash or whatever one day during the Halloween season. Um, or, no, it was just after the Halloween season. They were, like, packing up all of the, um, the decor and the costumes and shit. And they were getting, again, labeled on the boxes to be sent down to the basement. And, uh, sitting on the counter when I come up to the cash is a cardboard box that just reads severed baby heads on the side and again i just fucking lost it like what is that what what the fuck is in that box did you you guys know what that says right and i looked into it and yeah it, it was just severed baby heads like like the like off of like dolls or whatever it's super weird. It's It was like a Halloween decoration that looked like somebody had taken like an old, like an actual doll and just popped the head off of it and then painted like blood and shit on it and then just like threw pr a price tag on it. It was like, it wasn't like they had manufactured a head to be a decoration. It like, it actually looked like the head had been removed from a doll and then repurposed. Which, I mean, I guess, like, if you've got a stock of dolls that aren't going to sell, that's a good way to recycle them and get your money's worth. Because people are always looking for creepy shit at Halloween time. Fine, day Tracer. Oh, no, this cave crystalisk. He's guarding the Tracer. God damn it. Oh, there's another fucking fly in here. I thought I dealt with them. Oh, that pisses me off. That actually super pisses me off that there's a fucking fly in here. I've gone through so much trouble to get rid of them recently. Like, they're, they're those fucking drain flies that come up out of the, uh, like, the drain in your sink and everything. And, uh... Like, I've been putting those wire food catchers over the drains to stop them from flying out. There was a drain in the floor that I had to cover up with tape. And then they burrowed through the screw holes. They had been filled with, like, putty or whatever. So they fucking burrowed out the putty and were coming up through the screw holes. I had to cover those again. I went, um... I found this like uh, this like procedure, I guess, on Pinterest where you like you pour boiling water down the drain and then you pour like 
like half a cup of baking soda and vinegar into it. You wait 10 minutes and then you pour more boiling water into it. So I did that the other week when I cleaned out the bathroom. I just like flushed the drains. And I was hoping that that got rid of any like eggs or nests or anything clinging to the side there, but fuck. Damn, I was so happy we were doing so good for, for a couple of weeks there. We had like one here and there, but fuck. I think they're, I feel, I'm remiss to say it feels like they're going to start coming back in numbers again. In which case, I have no idea what to do. I have no idea where they're coming from. Obviously from the drain, but like how they're getting out, I don't know. They, they weren't that big of a problem. I mean, like, they were there, like, you'd get one or two in the bathroom, like, throughout the year. Um, but now they're, like, all over the house. Because somebody had to go in and just, like, pull a whole bunch of shit out of the floor drain. I want to hear you scream! We have um, we have like a like a big tub sink in the laundry room that the uh, the washing machine feeds out into. Like it drains all the dirty water into it, and like there was like a fucking towel left in it or something, and it plugged up the drain, so the fucking sink flooded, and then of course like the bathroom floor flooded and then it like got under the walls and it, and it got into the carpet and everything it had to be all cleaned and dried out just a big fucking pain right it's not the first time it's happened but the the solution wasn't to not drape towels over the sink it was to go clean out the drain so it would filter out faster when it floods instead of you know preventing the flood in the first place Yeah, went into the he went into the drain and just started pulling shit out and disturbed a fucking nest and now they're all over the house. And of course, I'm the only one who gives enough of a shit to be doing anything about it. So that's fun. That's fun. Very quiet, pirate. You have to be quiet while I'm murdering your friends. Alright, open the gate and kill the Sandman. Where is the gate? Oh, oh, there's a fucking ladder there. It is up the ladder, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I saw the marker behind me. Wait a minute. Boop. Sandman, you're mine. Time to exit, Sandman. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Metallica. Now you're gonna learn that big pain. Big sleep. Smash, kill, smash. Small totally the brains. Yeah, so you can definitely see from, um, like, the big sleep, I guess, and, um, you know, some of the burlier pirate enemies, like this guy, the buccaneer. Um, you can see where they got the design ideas for the pirate enemies in the Wham Bam Island Headhunter DLC that we did yesterday. Frog. It's about a frog. 
if I'm not mistaken, all of the... For a second there, my brain was like vampires. They're called vampires, that's not right. It seems like all the pirates that we fought yesterday in the um, Wham Bam Island headhunter thing were all like these big burly guys. They use these big uh, like tough guy models. I think the anchor man, um, like the big sleep guy. I don't know. If there's too many more like him that wield the anchors in like the base or like in the. In this DLC pack, I should say, uh, I feel like the like the dual wielding Anchorman is something that they like reworked and um, made more prevalent for the Headhunter thing. BRB diary. Uh, where? Wormwater. Oasis. Okay. Uh, yeah. Haters Folly. We're done in here. Sick. Yeah, like, um, I was, like, I was saying earlier that it's, uh, it's really cool. Like, the, the pirate design being, like, a remix of the bandits. Uh, and it's really cool that, like, for the Headhunter DLC, like, they still managed to remix them even further and come out with, like, more pirate skins for them. And you can see that they're, like, different, like, they're clearly different types of pirates, right? Like, the, the pirates that we run into on the island are, like, proper, like, ocean-faring pirates, whereas the pirates here are, uh, like, as stated, they're sand pirates. Like, yeah, yeah, they're pirates, but, like, they they hang out in the desert, right? So, uh, like, a lot of their attire is just inherently going to be different. The ones that sail the seas don't uh, necessarily need to have their faces and like all of their skin covered up from the sun and the heat. I sold one of the, yeah, slide rapier. As I end the refrain, thrust home, curse of the porcelain fist. Uh, yeah, like, and then this one, what a fabulous winter treatment, curse of the elementals. These all have like shitty curse effects to them like yeah it'll give you a buff it'll make you do more damage but it also makes you take damage like 200 percent melee boost is really cool but if i'm going to shatter my fist and take like 10 percent health damage every time i melee somebody then that's not worth it we respect i think like twice because of that concept I think we took like two separate abilities that did that, and then we decided, nope. Enough of that shit. And again, we're level 38 now, so we might actually be at the point where we can go down the flame tree and make it worth it. Because we have enough points. I don't know if we want to dick with that just yet, though. You've killed the creature. Hater's Folly is now safe, apart from all the pirates and the crystalisks and the other creatures you didn't kill. Good news! You don't have to help me staple Jesse's face back on because he's dead. Hemophilia ho. <laughs> ho. Yes, oh. Why loot the dead when you can buy from me? Alright, what do we have next? Declaration Against Independence. Now, if I go... If I go behind me and I click the Catch a Ride, uh, it will... 
dump me into one, it'll dump me into a sand skiff, and then I'll have to go across, load into the next area, and still surf over to the ship and climb up. Whereas if I just run back up to the fast travel here, I can just teleport straight to Scarlet's ship, and I think it'll either take just as long or be slightly quicker. So why I'm going back up here. This is the is something I don't really get um, or enjoy. I don't know why the entrance to Oasis, like the fast travel, is so fucking far. Like it's all the way up the hill from from the town. Like you'd figure the fast travel would be in town, like across the square from the the board or something, right? The members of local pirate union number 402 may not like you, but they'll respect you. Hell yes, we're the best. Hell yes, we're the best. Okay. Go raid the Hyperion Caravan, huh? Oh, I remember. I remember. I think we're going the wrong way. It's okay. In a circle, every way is the right way. Now, I feel like there's going to be no peace in the caravan here. Maybe I'm wrong. That was real easy. They all took one harpoon and then just keeled over. And exploded. Alright, what do we have here? Is that actually... Oh, it is, like, actually a piece. Awesome. We're probably gonna kill each other later, but for now, I just wanna say... Well done. We only need one more compass piece before we can find the lost treasure. Come on, back. One more compass piece. Alright, that's gonna be the one that we have to get from Crazy Earl? I think? No, not Crazy Earl. It's somebody similar to Crazy Earl, though. It's a Crazy Earl type. Crazy old man who lives in a dump. I think. And he's in love with Scarlet. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, I bring you pieces, lady. I bring you puzzle pieces for treasure. Scarlet has a piece of Captain Blade's compass. Thanks to your work in retrieving two more pieces from Sandman and the Hyperion Caravan, only one piece of the compass remains. Better get to it. You won't be able to track down the treasure of the sands until the compass is fully restored. Three down, one to go. Once the compass is fixed, we'll find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. Cool. I don't know where the last part of the compass is, but I know someone who might. His name is Herbert, and he lives Herbert. in the yards. Take that gift box over there. Okay. Boop. Hold on to that gift, and don't give it to Herbert until I tell you to. Now go meet up with him. Off with you now. Yeah, alright, let's go find Herbert the Hermit. First... Fight or die, or run away and get killed at a later occasion. What? Two of my men deserted the ship when Sandman attacked. Could you kill them, please? Deserters really bug me, since I only have one rule on my ship. If you join, it's for life. That and no fatties. <laughs> sorry, that was supposed to be a joke. I... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you, know, you might be worried that 
once you get all four pieces of the compass, I'll kill you and take it for myself. Wrong. Even once complete, the compass still needs to be taken to a very super secret location before it will reveal where Blade's treasure is buried. You can rest easy for now. So you're going to have me run the compass to the location to reveal the location of the treasure, and then you're going to run to the treasure yourself. Brilliant plan. Brilliant. It's so smart, a child could have come up with it. How we'll ever be able to, you know, foible her play, I don't know. I don't know how, how we could ever compete with her big brain. Big brain Scarlet. Okay. Kill Benny the Booster. I don't remember how many of these guys there are. But I'm hoping they're all in the same area. Because I really, really don't want to have to go back and forth and all over the place just to wait. kill a bunch of randos. Oh, Benny! Knock, 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 motherfucker! Done. Uh, that was my old cook. Tried to poison my food six times before he realized I always make my puppies test my food for me. Sometimes I really miss Bowser's number 7013. Oh. Alright, kill the deckhand. Is it in the same area? Nope, it's going to make me go back and forth. That's shite. Fucking gobshite it is. Alright, fine. I imagine... I imagine the next one's probably going to be in either Wormwood or... All up in... Um, where does it want me to go next? The Rust Yards? The Rust Yards, fun fact, is also home to a raid boss fight. Which is actually kind of cool and fun, I think. Um, one of the more interesting out of uh, all the other boss, the raid boss fights, I think. And uh, I rather enjoy that one. I don't know that if it's one that you could do by yourself. Um, you might be able to do the base level raid m boss by yourself at max level. Uh, just, just on account of, like, it has this weird, like, you have to shoot his shield generators before you can shoot him. So, like, if your damage output is high enough, you can manage it, no problem. Um, but if not, then, you like, you need the teamwork, etc. A really cool fight. His name is something like Hyperius the Invincible, or something, and, um... Like, it's, it's, it's funny that he's named as such because, like, you're shown right away in the fight that if you can just hit his pylons, then you can hit him. And then he's not so invincible. Yeah, Hyperius, yeah. Cool guy. A weird Hyperion junk warrior who hangs out in the in the trash yard. Alright, deck hand should be Ah, oh, right there. You know, fuck this. There's too many of you guys. Jesus. The whole pile of pirate bodies. 
Now somebody's going to go walking through there. Jesus Christ, what happened here? Were they all drinking the Kool-Aid or the hell? Yeah, out out in this like desert oasis where uh, the people up above are dying of thirst because they don't even have like water to drink. Down here, the pirates have so much water, they're making Kool-Aid with it. They're mixing in their drank crystals. They got their Mio squirt bottles. Yeah, I, I like this dynamic where like you either have no water or you have so much water that you can be lavish with it. <laughs> so, so much water you could wipe your ass with it. And they very well might. How do you know that they don't have bidets installed here, huh? I mean, look at that. That that right there is just one giant bidet. You just It's the dunking kind. It's, it's the kind of bidet where you, you dunk yourself into it instead of it spraying you. Okay, so, whoo, whoo, it is like well past break time, Jesus. Oh, but I kind of want to get like into the rust yards at least. I'll do that. I'll get into the rust yards and then we'll, we'll go for a break. That place, shit, what's the best way to get to it? It's like over here, isn't it? Sort of. Kind of, sort of. Not really. <laughs> the one thing I don't like about the... Um, the fucking raid fights... That they have in here is that like, they cost you... Um, they cost you iridium every time you want to go in and fight. Which... Sucks. I don't know if it's like per run like like if you and your team get wiped I don't know if you have to pay to get back in or like if like the door is just unlocked like until the game is like shut down and reloaded or whatever uh, but like you do have to regularly pay to get in and back into your um, your raid fights there I don't think I caught that save point there, but I don't think I need it, so fuck it. Where exactly is this place? I feel like I'm not going the right way. But I guess clearly I am, because, like, look at this. Where? Right there. Right there's a switch. Get the fuck out of my face, huh? Get the fuck out of my face. And the rust yards, hey, look at that, rust yard, woo! That gun is rusty as all hell. That is a rust yards gun. Good, good idea putting that one on the loading screen for that sh fucking area. Yeah, we'll we'll see why. Herbert's a bit of a creepo. Like anything at all, ever. What do we have here? The rust yards. The rust yards. Woo. All right, so I'm sure we will come across Toothless Terry. He's over there somewhere. I'm sure we'll come across him. In the meantime, 
There is... Oh, there is a... There are anchormen here. In the meantime, there are two other missions we gotta do. We gotta find that treasure chest thing. Which I think I know where it is. And... We gotta go find Herbert. I know where Herbert is. It's just a bit of a, a walk to get to him. Is the only thing. That's the biggest issue. The walking. Every game I play, I'm like, man, this character doesn't move fast enough. I should be able to fly in a straight line to my objective, and it should be, like, teleportation speed. <laughs> should be able to just go where I want, when I want, without the need to travel. Make the game run quicker. Alright, so before we run in and do more of the rust yards there, uh, it's way past time for break. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to tab over real quick. I'm going to get up, stretch, pee, do what I got to do. And when I come back, we will finish this off, probably. We'll probably finish this DLC today, I'm betting. Um, fingers crossed, right? So do what you guys got to do pee get a drink make some food whatever and meet me back here real quick okay
wah. Wah, wah, wah. There we go. Okay, I'm back. And ready to go. Wah, 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 wah. So that over there is a shortcut to the other side that is not active yet. We'll have to go over and take the shortcut back. I think we got really lucky uh, doing that, um, like, kill off her goons mission before we came in here, because I think I usually end up having to come back in here for some reason. I might still have to come back in here for some reason. Uh, you never know. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, anchor man. People have been done making references about you for a while now. Remember that, kids. Before we had memes, dudes just sat around quoting Anchorman to each other. The before time. Man, those anchors actually provide, like, a really solid defense. Like, they've got that whole get over here gimmick. But then, like, he blocks real solid with them. You know, all things considered, these guys aren't really all that tough. And we could probably just zip by them all. There's probably no need to hang around and, you know, grab ass about. In fact, I'm willing to bet that I can just toss out my grenades and hopefully they'll go off at some point. Yeah, look at that. Like two grenades and they're just like all done. Mind you, that's how a grenade should work. You should throw it into a room and have the whole room die. I mean, that's what they're for, right? That's the whole, like, point. Not to cause, like, minor damage and for them to just continue shooting at you. But yeah, you can see how, like, if you were, like, of level, that this would actually be, like, quite the push, right? You'd have to fight your way through here. You'd have to take down, like, everybody in your path. And leave no survivors. But so long as we don't get dickheads like this big guy downing us, we can just walk through people. Anybody who gets in our way. And it doesn't really matter the people who shoot us in the back. Especially since they can't. They, they really can't aim all that well. <clears throat> so that right there is the big ol' shortcut. And it's not turned on yet, but now it is. And that'll get it rolling across. No problem. Oh no, spider ants. Ah. This is really cool. A big old elevator platform made on top of an old anchor. We got this big fucking ship crashed into the reef here and they just been using it right they just been using it as an elevator and a home base 
And we'll actually go up on there from the other side, I think. And we'll force our way up to the bow of the ship. Or the stern, whatever. I don't know ship directions. I think ship directions are stupid. Because, like... The whole argument is... See, my whole thing is, like, just say left and right. Right? Just say left and right, forward and back. Right? Um, but people are like, oh, well, like, you know, how are you supposed to know what's left and right and forward and whatever on, on a ship? It's like the same way you do in a car, right? Like a ship moves forward, like straight in one direction in the ocean. They don't typically move backwards, right? Um... They don't typically travel their whole journeys in reverse like that. Um, like, car cars have a cons cars and boats alike have a consistent, like, forward and reverse, right? Uh, you say, like, the bow or the stern or whatever it is to mean front and back. So why not just say front and back instead of using confusing terms? And in relation to front and back you have left and right as you would drive the boat forward, right? The same as you would drive a car. When you learn to drive a car, you learn, like, put on your left-hand turn signal, not your port side blinker, right? You don't like whatever, whatever for oncoming starboard side traffic. It's just, it's just left and right in relation to the front, back, and forward momentum of the car. That's why on the gear shift, it says like for like drive, as in drive forward, and R for like reverse. As as in like backing up. As in going backwards, as in the back of the vehicle. Boat directions are stupid. So this is why Scarlet doesn't want us to mention her to Herbert here. Because he's got quite the shrine in here. Uh, I don't know how many photos this is. This is a lot of photos. Um, a lot of photos. These, these kind of photo collages make me sad because there used to be this really great pizza place down the corner, like down the street from us, uh, that sold really, really good pizza, really fucking cheap. You go in, you get, um, you get two slices and, uh, and a can of pop, uh, for about three bucks. And the slices were huge. The slices were fucking massive. They were like a quarter of the size of a pizza. Out, f fucking outrageous the size of these things. Um, so like cheap, good food. We used to go there all the time. And they used to have like a photo wall like this of all the customers. Um, and I was actually in quite a, a number of those photos um because i went there all the goddamn time uh like on my own with my friends all that right um the people who ran it were so nice such such a nice family um and they're gone now that whole place is gone and i have no idea if they just moved or if they got shut down or what um but every time i see like these photo collages it makes me think of uh the big like the wall of the pizza place covered in photos waiting for the pizza to come out of the oven. And, and it makes me sad to know that I, I can't get that pizza anymore. Look at this. He's got like her panties and is that her arm? She's missing an arm, her, her left arm. Um, is, is that what that is? 
I mean, I would hope not, because that doesn't look like a human arm. That looks like a monster skeleton arm bone. Um, maybe that's something she slew. But he's got a lot of her panties, a lot of her photos, her dolls, right? A lot of these, a lot of these photos. I think Herbert might have a thing. Um. For for Scarlet. Uh, get the final comes piece from Herbert. <clears throat> now you've met Herbert, he should be happy to to point you towards the final piece of Captain Blade's compass, probably. I'm not supposed to talk about her to you. I'm not supposed to mention that. She really doesn't, bro. <clears throat> You son of a bitch, Herbert. You blind ass piece of shit. Half blind junkyard living motherfucker. <clears throat> okay, so we gotta go running around. All around up in this place. For some bullish. Now, thank. F oh, wait. Yeah, that don't open. Yeah, that's a fence and that don't open. So, thank Christ fuck I remember where the treasure is in this one. Because it can actually be difficult to find. But given that I've had such a hard time finding it so many times. Um, and like I've had to look up guides and, and everything. Uh, it's been burned into my head where that one is, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, uh, Iris says, this man is the reason the word simp is around. You're probably right. You are probably right. She asked me to do a thing. Oh man, I have to go above and beyond. I have to make her a mixtape. No, I have to make her an anthology of mixtapes. Man, it, it used to be, I guess, like, such a, like, a cheesy thing. I feel like up until recently, like, oh, mixtapes, ah, uh, you make, you making a mixtape for somebody? Um, like, oh, what, like, real original, what, real, a whole lot of effort, right? Um, but for real, though, like, nowadays, like, in the year 2021... If somebody were to make you an actual for real ass mixed tape, like a cassette tape with like that you could then listen to on a cassette player that they provided you with, um, that's fucking thoughtful as all hell and had a lot of effort put into it. Probably about as much effort as would have originally went into it back in the day to originally make a mixed tape. <clears throat> Which, again, like, even back then, it was like, oh, wow, real original, but, like, I mean, like, oh. there is some, th there, there is a bit of, you know, finesse to doing that properly, to getting the music to cut right and, and sound nice, you know? I remember um, <clears throat> my first MP3 player was basically a mixtape machine. Uh, I was worried oh, like son of a bitch. Just as as <clears throat> as as 
my uh, my first MP3 player was basically a mixtape machine, and I don't know, or like a mixtape device. I can't remember what it was called, but it uh, it had like an internal storage, like it like a built-in storage. You couldn't slot cards into it or anything. Um, it was a really small uh, capacity, like. I don't know, like 200 megabytes, like something like that or whatever, right? Probably not even. Um, but like, <clears throat> you you had your headphone jack and your like, your directional buttons, your play, etc. But the way it worked is that instead of con like plugging it into the computer and loading music onto it, uh, it had a headphone jack, uh, like the the male end of the headphone jack that you plug into into the hole um it had one of those that would pop out the side and you would just plug that into um like your radio or your cd player or whatever right whatever was playing the music that you wanted on your little device uh and you would you would have to like play the music on the device and then sit there and like hit the button and record it onto your um, your your little MP3 player thing, and then stop the recording <clears throat> when the song was over. Or you record like whole album as like one track or or whatever, right? Um, yeah, like you, you had to actually like sit there and like record it, listen to the whole song, and, like, time it properly, hit the button at the end to make it cut off right when you wanted it to. It's kind of like making yourself a mixtape that you could just, like, really quickly, like, delete and then, like, redo and... Not as much, uh, strain, I guess, as it, as it would have been... A genie in a bottle. No, wait, it's another message. Find a treasure. Squeeze. So, yeah, you can actually, um, like, get stuck in there if you're unfortunate enough. Uh, it's a lot easier to, like, crouch down and just slide through the window like that instead of trying to back out of it or jump over top. Um... The more you move around like that, the, like, the more stuck you can get, the more likely you are to. So, yeah, you're best to just, like, crouch and slide through the window. Now, <clears throat> we don't need to follow that. Where's this guy? He should be close. Oh, no. Oh, he's back up there, that fucking here. Alright. Alright, I see it. I see him. I see what we... Okay. We can deal with that. We can deal with it later. For now, though, we gotta go up here. We go up here and we're gonna get that fucking dial audio diary. Where is it? Higher up? Is there a ladder here? There is too. Hey, look at that. A nice clear pathway. I, I really appreciate how like the pathways up in Borderlands are very linear. Shit, are they? Oh, here's one. Okay. I'm not full yet. Yeah, it's it's not too often where you like go up a ladder and you have to run all the way across before you can go up a stairway, and then run all the way back to go up a ladder and etc. Right? There are there is in some places, but a lot of them, um, like it's just 
stairways and ladders back and forth like this in like crisscrossing on over themselves, right? It makes climbing up to where you need to go real quick. No, to strip your face from my fingernails. I don't think we need to go up there. I don't know. I don't know if there is anything up there, but you know what? It might be fun just to check. <clears throat> my backs, my backs. Yeah. Fuck you and fuck you. Oh yeah, there's nothing up there. It's just like an empty ass end of the ship that we can't even actually get up to, so. What do we have here? Crap. And also crap. Parkour! Okay. So how many are there? There's four total and we got three left. That's not too bad. Alright, second audio diary is... Boop. Right there. It's just him snoring into the tape. Oh, it was her snoring. Christ. Is that tape number 48 he said? God. So you come over here, you come across that bridge into like the, the rust yard proper, right? Where all the fucking garbage is. We want to go over here. Under this little bridge like thing, right? Coming around the back side here, along the, uh, the the cliff edge. Looks out onto the sand. I think. Oh, did we. Oh, we passed it, didn't we? Oh, it's out here in the middle, isn't it? Where? Oh, where? is that staircase. I know it's like right around here. Or my nuts. Am I at, ah, there it is, yeah. Oh fuck, so it's a lot closer than I thought. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, when you come across from the ship, where, like, over where, like, it exploded, right? Oh shit, so that's the ship where it exploded, on top of a fossilized sea beastie. So yeah, the, you come off of the ship, you go up into the big one, you come out here. And then right here, where the stairs is, you come around, and right there, bam, Tracer. Tracer, woo! They, they will forever remember this as the day that they almost didn't get killed by the fearsome Captain Blade. I feel like they tried to give him like a... Like a Jack Sparrow air to him. Like just like in his speech or whatever, like, like in his voice. But much more of a serious character. And ooh, there's one right next to a treasure. Today, Scarlet caught a crewman stealing from her. She's so honorable. Through my telescope, I saw her give him a gun to defend him. 
herself. As she ran in through with her sword, I knew. I knew she's the one. Ha <laughs> ha. Bro. I. What is, what is that? Is that bringing a sword to a gunfight? Because she also brought the gun. She brought all the weapons to the fight and gave the guy the superior choice. No, that, that's bullshit. The sword's the superior choice. I mean, the, gu the gun's probably really only useful if it had bullets in it, right? <clears throat> Be funny if she handed him, like, an empty gun, and he actually stood there and, like, tried to shoot her. And, like, clicked it and, and it was, and, like, panicked. Because nothing happened. I could see her doing it. I, c I could see that being the case. With Captain Scarlet, who introduced herself and was like, Oh, hi, I'm probably going to stab you in the back and rob you at some point. Just so you know. Okay, so I got to go back this way. Because I, oh yeah, that's right, I missed that one over there. I should have grabbed that first. That's okay. That last audio log is right there. Okay, this is mixtape number 206. Mixed. I call this one Scarlet, I would like to touch you in places. Oh, wonderful. Musical gonorrhea. Ha. Ha. <laughs> oh man. That's a That's an unfortunate and a hell of a way to describe somebody's music. Musical gonorrhea. Ooh. There's, there's absolutely no way you could possibly be like, that's good, right? Like, the good kind of gonorrhea? Like, no. Absolutely fucking not. Alright, let's give Herbert his fucking tapes only for him to tell us that the piece of the compass tapes once you deliver those with the last piece of the compass scarlet will have to take me back the last compass piece is in that chest right here <clears throat> and i could have just I could have just busted the lock the whole time. I could have just shot it off the whole fucking time, this asshole. Oh, your shot destroyed the last piece of the legendary compass. Whoops. Whoops. What do you mean, whoops, old man? Make a replacement. I just need parts. Just get to the Washburn Refinery. Go, Wait, go, the Washburn go. Refinery. Oh, we have to go into there. Oh, I f fuck. Fuck. I forgot the refinery was different from the rust yards. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch ass bitch. Okay. Fuck. Alright, well. We have that shortcut. 
so we can we can use it to come back in real quick oh uh, I am Riff says hey man gotta go have a great stream and the rest of your day thanks bud thank you very much you too as well um, good eve or afternoon or whatever to you hope you enjoy yourself and good luck in your endeavors Oh god. Oh, ooh. Despite us being like almost t like 10 levels you over them, they still fucking pound us to the ground real hard. Where is that dip ass? <clears throat> the one that I'm after. Not you. Oh, dip ass. I know you gotta be in here somewhere. Toothless Terry, there he is. You know, fuck him. Fuck him with the grenade. Hey, look at that. Toothless Terry. Jeez. Almost felt guilty killing them without remembering their name. That would... Well... I don't know. It's... That's gotta... That's gotta be weird. Settings like... I know I have a grudge against this somebody. I have so much of a grudge that... I require vengeance in the form of a hired assassin. I just... The grudge wasn't important enough for me to remember their name. Like, what the hell is that? that that's some, like, some bougie, like, I send assassins after everybody who looks at me the wrong way, but I don't have time for anyone. Uh, where are we going exactly? Is that... We have to head to the rust yard. No, we're in the rust yards. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I have to go to... The Washburn Refinery. Where the fuck? I can picture the place to get in there. I just can't picture in there. Uh, thanks for to your efforts. The remaining members of Scarlet's crew will be considerably less likely to pursue other gainful employment. Really can't understate just how unserious I was being about the no fatties thing. I actually prefer overweight men. <laughs> Help an old buddy. Okay, can do. I will use the Fulton extraction system and send it right to you. Where am I supposed to be going? Here. And, okay, so I can get that. I can get the scrap shit when we go back in uh, to get Herbert's bullshit. For now, let's go. Let's go find the refinery. Get in and get out. What's the best way to get there? No. No. God, that's as far as it zooms out. Okay, this way, I guess. Where are we headed? Up here? Up here, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can tell because of the robots. The robots on their caravan. Yeah, there we go. 
up to the refinery. I cannot for the life of me picture the inside of that place. I think it's like... Like you're inside a building? Ah, and then it comes down. I feel like that used to be a lot slower. The gondola, when it, like, initially came down, and you'd have to, like, defend yourself. Now I just gotta make it back up. On account of the being pushed off. Come to me, rat sponge! Oh, that's like just too far. Alright, hurry up, get on the platform, and go! Ha ha ha! Bye bye! Screw you guys. Screw you guys! I'm going to the refinery. Right. <clears throat> I can't wait to taste your lungs! That's great. That's wonderful. I'm so glad for your excitement. Washburn Refinery. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can rebuild the last part of the compass, but I'll need some samples of polycrytin. And once you get those, I can rebuild the key and give it to Scarlet, and it'll help her find where the treasure is buried, and she'll marry me, and we'll have a hundred Holly Crichton, huh? That sounds like a real fake ass material. But it also sounds like a super synthetic material. So like like if it's something that like was like put together or whatever, like it would make sense. Like that could totally be real, I guess. <clears throat> This malfunctioning Hyperion bot seems to be obsessed with censorship. Because morality. So, yeah. I definitely think we should have waited for um, the Headhunter DLCs. I think we should have waited to do them afterwards. Because I'm fairly certain, um, at the very least, uh, like, this provides you... I mean, we saw from the first one that we did, the uh, when we fought the Waddle Gobbler in the Thanksgiving thing, uh, we saw that there was a whole bunch of, like, tribute to Wormwater, uh, tribute to Frostburn, etc., right? Uh, and we hadn't actually been to Wormwater yet, so we didn't know what the hell that was. Uh, but we've seen pirates now so we know like what that's all about um similarly uh innuendo bot was uh somebody who featured in the uh rot gut distillery area uh he was like the final quest giver i think oh no yeah yeah i think he was yeah he issued the final quest and then moxie turned it around on him um uh, but innuendo bot where'd he come from who is that? What's what's the deal with that guy? Well, maybe we'll find out where he came from here. Maybe this place has something to do with it. We can just like run through for the most part. However, I do think there are some places like here where we may have to actually defeat all of the opponents before the doors will open up. Yeah, I think it wants us to defeat people. So... Oh, look at that. Nice and quick, that was. One... Two... God, are they spawning more as I'm defeating them? Fuck, man. I just want to move on. How many are you going to send? Oh, 
Oh no, hot loader. Shit, fuck, get him. Oh, there we go. Oh man, it fucking bounced the wrong way. Stupid grenade, go on, go get him. Yeah, heals, bitch. How many more? You and one more, right? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, and there's another one forming behind me. Ah, shit. That's okay. We haven't gone down too much uh, during the course of this expansion, so... It's fine. Live. Oh, this is not where I need to go, is it? Is it? This is just like a whole bunch of iridium, it looks like. I'm in the wrong room. Like, super in the wrong room. Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I need to slip past you and get the fuck out of here. Huh. Wait, so I was... I was there, and I came down into there. Okay. Oh, it was here. Oh, okay, I see. I see how it happened. How I got flipped, turned around. Should have just followed the guiding light of the money glow. Here comes the bad time. And you're dead. And the door's open? And the door's open, right? And the... Oh, there's one more. Why is there always one more? Like, perpetually one more. Never like, oh, there's a group. Fight the next wave. No, it's like, oh, fight one. Fight another one. Then another. And another. One more. Forge array, huh? What the hell kind of forge is this? Is each one of those supposed to be a forge? With, with flame and heat? Don't get it. I'm almost at the end, though. I'm almost at... Pervy's lair. So let's go get it. Let's fucking zip past these bots. They're not worth anything, are they? Oh, I'm out of grenades. Shit. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Here we go. one experience. Yeah, they're not worth anything. So this is where you go in to fight Hyperius. God damn. Um, yeah, you'll have to pop the lever, the gate opens, and that's the arena where he hangs out. I don't think you can see him. I don't know that he spawns until you go in there. He probably doesn't. But yeah, that's uh, that's where the the big badass hangs out. That one, I don't know if you, I don't know if there's like a price tag like just on the on the switch when it's like it's available, or uh, or what the deal is. Um, because I know that in, like, some of them, like, you have to, like, offer up the Iridium, like, to a specific location. That one, it might just, like, take it out of your count when you've, uh, when you pull the thing. I don't know. Wait, 
What kind of what kind of magazines do we got here? Heavy fire. Biggest squeeze. No, bigger. Big bigger squet squetic. I don't know what that is. I don't know what word that's supposed to be. Three hundred pounds of something. Kabam? I don't know what that is. I don't know. I can't quite read all of the words on it. It's too blurry. For more? No. No, you said I was done. <laughs> Skies here says bigger is better. I, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, you're... Bigger is better? Oh, okay. Oh, man. But yeah, my eyesight, I guess, isn't all that great, is it? This guy asks, do you wear contacts? I... I don't wear contacts, no. Um, actually, the last time I had my eyes checked, um... Uh... I, Apparently, I have perfect vision. Uh, I, I went, actually, and had, like, an eye exam, like, a few years ago, because, like, I was, like, worried about this, and, um, yeah, the, the, uh, the doctor was like, yeah, you've, you've got, like, perfect vision. You got, like, 20-20. Um, the problem, I think, is that, like, the text is a little bit smaller and blurry, like, on the screen because of, like, how far away it is from me. Things will improve when I have, um... When I'm, like, a little bit closer to my monitor in a chair. Hopefully. Hopefully that'll, uh... Make things a little bit better. The magazine set. Uh, yeah, I was having trouble for a while. Um, every time I tried to read, uh, like a particular book that I was going through, um, my eyes would start to hurt. And what it turned out to be is that, um, like, the pages of the book were actually just so fucking white that the sunlight or just any light in general reflected off it like real hard to the point where like it hurt my eyes to look at the page um and then like trying to read words through it i was like squinting and it was real bad uh so like i i thought like i thought my eyes were damaged or like i had something wrong and i was like i gotta go see like an eye doctor and see if like I need glasses or something. You know, like nah, no, nah, it's probably just like the glare off of your book. Uh, this guy says, yeah, I've been waiting for your beauty ring light setup so we all can bask in your Jesus beauty up close. <laughs> uh, oh, and Hyde's here. This is GG Easy. Uh, welcome both of you guys. Welcome. Glad to have you guys here. How are you? And I hope you're doing wells. Uh, let's get rid of the white trash here. Let's get rid of some of this white trash. Uh, it, it is, it is getting real easy in here, uh, Hyde. I'm, I'm way over leveled for this. Um, the guide said, like, it's about f level 15 to 30 you're supposed to be in this expansion. And, well, I'm level 38, so <laughs> we're a bit above where we're supposed to be. But yeah, I've been, um, I don't know if I'm getting a ring light. I don't know if I'm getting a ring light per se, uh, I do have neons. I do have... My grandma was very gracious... Well, sorry, I should say my mother was very gracious. Um, she sent my grandma a link to uh, 
like a, a neon strip setup um, that she was kind enough to get me for Christmas. Uh, I haven't put them up yet because I don't quite like my setup the way it is. Uh, I'd, I'd prefer to have like my desk and my new monitors and everything in place before I put those up. But I'm hoping that uh, the lights, the neon lights, will be enough to um, illuminate my glory as much as need be. It may j end up just being mood lighting like on my end more, like for my pleasure. I don't know how much it'll, I don't know how much the white light will illuminate per se. Uh, so if, th if that's the case, if it doesn't light up as much as it needs to, I can't always get a ring light. But yeah, I've, I've also been excited for um, a more up close and near the camera setup. Uh, so that I can start putting on my eyeshadow more often because then you guys will actually be able to see it Because I did my eyes up all cool and pretty for um, I think like for Halloween maybe um, For Christmas uh, etc, right and um, I didn't uh, It didn't like come through very well on account of like it like I'm so far from the camera right you couldn't see it on my eyes really even in on the uh, on the big camera display it was really hard to see like the color in my eyeshadow there I have that whole kit I've got that whole big palette that fucking makeup kit that I put together I want to put it to use Uh, this guy says, just like a bright angelic light, so you can come from the light of God when you come back from break. <laughs> ah, yeah, get get those fucking God rays going on when I uh, when I sit back down. I can get one of those stream decks, like like the buttons to make shit go off, and I can um, I can macro a. Uh, like an, an angelic chorus of, uh, of, of, like, singing to one of them. You get the, oh, as I sit down. Boy, would that piss some people off. Oh, you know there'd be some folks upset with that. I have, uh... I have a grandmother who'd actually be very upset with that in particular. <laughs> Which would be really funny um, to, see, to see her uh, react to that. Yeah, she's, she's real funny. She She's like... My gra my one grandma's the kind of lady who, um, she heard that I was, uh, studying my more, um, my more Celtic roots, uh, like the, the occult side of things, um, the, like the pagan beliefs and, and that kind of thing, and, uh, she, uh, she decided that she would pray for my soul when she went to church from then on, um, before somebody explained to her, like, okay, like, relax, it's just like, like, he's, like, reading a history book. Like, chill out. He's, he's not out there, like, sacrificing goats, right? Like, but yeah, that's, that's the kind of, um, the, the kind of, like, relaxed radical that she is. If she, the, the only reason she, like, I wouldn't, like, say that she's, like, a radical is because, like, she doesn't have the, like, the drive to, um, 
like even get up and walk laps around the living room to exercise uh let alone like you know like petition or like you know do do something extreme right this guy says so it didn't go well when you tried to do her tarot spread <laughs> Uh, n no, no, she, she didn't take too well to, to any of my, um, eccentricities, we'll say. Um, this guy says, you, you do like a shocker reading on your grandma, and she's like, my sweet baby's going to hell. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much that's like, that's like, like actually like the reaction, very similar sequence and, and reaction. Uh, even robots need love, I guess. Um, this guy said, my mom threw away my craft VHS when I was younger. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. My mom's very into all of that. She's, um, very into, like, the candles and the, and the oils and the herbs and all of that. Which is funny that, like... My grandma had no problem with her being into that stuff, but um, the moment she heard that I was looking into it at all, it was like, oh no, it's a big, it's this big problem. This is a big problem. I gotta pray for his immortal soul. I'm like, sorry, grandma, I, I got news for you. <laughs> you you should have been praying for that shit a long time ago. There's a, there's a lot that you and Jesus need to catch up on. She, she's going to be like, please, Jesus, forgive him for trying to learn what people thousands of years ago thought scented candles represented and jesus is going to be like all right listen i have a list of actual shit that we need to talk about here in in regards to your grandson so let's let let's start at the top here the way he addresses me number one let's did you teach him that Uh, where are we going? How far out is this fucking place? Where? Oh, I remember where this is. And I hate it. <laughs> I actually really don't like this one. It fucking sucks. You gotta go into, like, a fucking satellite dish? And dish hard girl. Uh, you, you got dish bullets out at them pirates, and then they drop floppy disks. But I'm pretty sure the drop rate is really low. It's, it's a it's a real pain because like you're inside like a like a big satellite dish or whatever, so. Like, it's open all around you, right? You have no cover. Zero cover. And depending on where you are, like, if you're at, like, the middle of it, uh, the bullets just kind of funnel towards you. Which can make it a little difficult to survive. Right, right. Every time that one gets me. And of course, it makes you just run across this big empty space of dirt. Dirt. Uh, this guy says, She must think your practices are much darker than crystals and auras. Yeah, um. Yeah, she kinda. I don't know, didn't. I mean, she, she has a better understanding now, I guess. Um. I think I think my mom like sat down and talked to her, uh, but yeah, it, it seemed to be like anything that was like anything that was not Christianity was like devil worship. 
right? Like, it, it was just assumed that that's what it was. Um, so she just, like, freaked out and assumed the worst. It was like, no, 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 it's... You know, pe people can have other beliefs and not, you know, be crazy and, and violent and, you know, all the things that you are assuming that they are. Shit, I really should have, uh... I, I really should have stopped and, and sold all of my shit at one of the... What do you call it? The vending machines. How many of you are there? Come on. That, like, are you really just gonna send three at a time? Come on, I could wipe my ass with three of you at a time. And not a single one of them dropped a floppy. This is bullshit. See, this is what I'm talking about, the, the drop rate on these being really low. Some fucking horse shit. Okay, there's... Okay, now they're dropping. Now they're dropping. You the fuck out of here. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, perfect. I guess it's probably the last ones in the group, huh? Come to think of it, now that I... Like, think back on every time I've come to do that mission. It does seem that they've all dropped from the last five dudes. So you may just have to deal with the crowd there. Which is unfortunate that they don't just, like, drop at random until you have enough. Especially when they're only going to send, like, three dudes at a time at you. Like, what the fuck is that about? I have to hunt down five floppy disks. Don't give me, fo like, fucking three at a time. What is that? What the actual GDF is that? Considering we're right here, I think it's probably best that we just run back into the refinery and drop off those floppy disks, and then we can come back out. And we can... Actually, we can take the fast travel there over to wherever. I don't know why, but doing the YMCA helped me to focus a little bit. Oh, Christ. This, this Washburn refinery area is someplace that, like, I always... Like, I always forget that it's separate from the junkyard. Whoa. Hold on. Something happened there. Yeah, an accident happened. Yeah, there we go. So, I always forget that, it, like, they're separate places. And that all... That always means that this whole thing ends up taking that much longer than I initially assume it to be. Because, like, I always... I remember the lift outside that leads us into here, but I always think that that lift leads into the rust yard. Probably because of the lift that's just on the inside there. So that was real quick and easy. We're, we're done there. We don't need to fight anybody. <clears throat> just in and out real quick. <clears throat> And 
where is it that we need to go actually just so we know back to the rust yard specifically okay so we know that we're going to hit herbert at the end on the way out but where is it gonna require us to go for the parts i think it requires us to go into the same area that we found the treasure so to get there we have to go past herbert on the on the lower area and we gotta loop through the ship okay so we're gonna need to just like sprint through the whole fucking thing that's upsetting why does it start over there why you start so far away fuck you Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, and go, 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 it's a racing game, I'm terrible at those, oh no, look at the wall, crash, oh no, look at the other wall, crash, you'd think it would be real easy to just keep the vehicle straight, and just like, go down the center of the road or, or laneway, whatever. No. For whatever reason, I just can't do that. Like, it's... And you know what? It's bad enough in a regular racing game, um, which I don't generally tend to play, but I love me some Wipeout. And if you guys have ever seen Wipeout, you know that it's really fast. Like, really, really fast. So it's even harder to control. And there is, like, a, like an auto-assist that, like, keeps you from swerving. Like, it swerves you away from the walls. Like, it straightens you out when you get, like, so close to it. Um, so you don't crash into the fucking wall and bounce off of it. Um, but if you, like, even with that on, even with, like, the auto-correct... Uh, like autopilot self steer thing on it's it's real difficult to keep it straight I was having a real good time with it and then I got super stuck because it, it, it just got faster the game just started going a little bit faster and I couldn't keep up with it because I was just barely bullshitting my way through the first part, right? I do like me a good kart game, though. Like, uh, like a combat racing, like Mario Kart or uh, Crash Team Racing. I have the CTR remake that came out uh, recently. That'd be fun to play, like, do a, a playthrough on stream of. However, the, um... I think there's, like, a... One of the, a, like, a race or two near the end where the difficulty is, is just real bad. It's real high up there. Did I run past? I did, too. I ran past pieces that I need didn't even realize so there's one on the ship there down below and then there's one in near where i found the treasure bottle okay which part is it is the... I don't know. Oh, it's the rock bolt. That thing is a bolt? Like, to attach one thing to another? God damn. I'd hate to see the nut that screws onto that thing. So it's weird to see, like, um, 
like that gate that just opens down like that uh like it's on like the side of a ship like it almost like it was built into the hull but i mean i guess looking at that it's clearly not um that's a gate that's, that's actually a gate i think that's built like for borderlands like as a separate asset that was then copy and pasted into there and it just sort of clips with this ship like that Say, it seems very weird that they'd have a, a, like a portion of their ship that just opens like that. It, it'd feel like that's like not what you want your ship to do at sea. It's just open up a big hole in its side and take on all of the water. There's a lot of ocean out there. There's a lot of water, and your ship can hold a lot of it. Regardless of how big your boat is, your boat can probably hold most of the water around you. How many pieces are left? Three? Alright. So they should be, like, just laid out in in a relatively straight line. I should be able to just path from one to the next. Like that. And then the next one will be up there, I think. And then the next one will be over there to the left. And then we're home free. Go talk to Herbert. Where is this one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Shit, where did it go? Oh, I know where that one is. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I'll get it on the, on the backswing then. When we, when we come back, instead of taking the stupid gondola thing, I'll run backwards through the pirate hideout. And I'll pick up that shit for free. I just gotta make it to Herbert first. Gotta go get that fucking compass piece. Be interested how he's gonna replicate this this fucking artifact piece. Like, did he really spend enough time with it that he would know how to make it? You got the polycriton? Gimme! Yeah, here, take it. Okay. The last piece of the compass. <laughs> Give that to Scarlet along with the tape. You got the compass piece? Great. Now give Herbert that little gift I gave you and come on back. All right. Give him the gift. Give Herbert the gift. Oh, oh, you put it on the floor there. Alright, back up. Yeah, Scarlet gave you a gift, buddy. Yeah, she wanted you to know how she felt about you. Now, how many times did we get shot while we were holding that fucking thing? We are lucky that that did not go off. Mind you, I think about that like anytime I consider grenades. Like just that they exist. <laughs> um, like cool to have them on you, right? Like a cool, like useful tool of the battlefield, I guess. But 
like if you have explosives on your person, um, having the explosive shot while you're wearing it is kind of bad, isn't it? Just doesn't that make the explosive go off? And you know, explode, attach to you? Which is like ideally the exact opposite of what you want it to do. You want it to either, you want it to not go off while it's attached to you, and then attach it to somebody else and have it go off. That's how booms work, right? Last I checked. Where's that last one? Where in the shit Christ? Oh, fuck. Where is it? Is it in the middle somewhere? Control switch. God, there's so many levels to this place. Oh, you whores. Whores light. Fucker, you piece of shit. There we go. I just want to get up and find the piece. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, get styled upon and get the fuck out of my way. Stop shooting at me. All of you. So I can get a clear read on where the hell this fucking piece is. It's up. Okay. You have to get close, like, right underneath it for it to tell you it's up. That's indeed what it will then do. How do, how do I go upper from there? How do I go more up? Is this how you do it? I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I'm doing it. Turn it in. That's got to get turned into Scarlet, right? The other one can also get turned into Scarlet. I think. I don't know if that door's going to open or not. So, whoop. Over the wall. And off to freedom. You just sprint right through town, away from all of them, and they can't do shit. Okay. So I think, if we're lucky, this starts like the final leg of this fucking DLC set here. Worm water. Oh yeah. Hmm. So she's gonna send us off to Magnus Lighthouse, which is like a whole other area in itself. Complete with quests. And it's one of those ones that like loops around in on itself and everything. What's happening with yeah. your neck there, girl? This is my piece of the compass. Take it. Oh, so it's my compass now. Cool, thank you. Oh, you want me to do it in front of you? Alright, well, I'm... Alright. There it is. The compass of the sand. Please grab it. You can see the, like, the one part that's, like, clearly been replicated. Find the compass Cinderella. Take the compass Cinderella. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. I figured the scrap will take at least a week to deconstruct back to sanctuary, but I'll go ahead and pay you up front because I'm that kind of guy. Uh huh. You're welcome. Start your engines. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I love a man who can go very fast. Go drive your skiff around in circles very quickly. I find this sexually attractive. 
Go, go drive your skiff around. Okay, well, that's easy enough, right? And then we're off to Magnus Lighthouse. Let's do that, why don't we? I'm not the best at the races, but that's fine. Okay. Drive through the start marker and then just follow the markers. See, I don't know. I think you only got to do one lap. And make the most out of your boost there. I think you probably want to shut it off before it runs out so that it doesn't run out. It's see there's not too many of these waypoints it seems. It looks like it's not going to circle too many places. Yeah, it's not going through there. It's going up here. I know there's one that you actually want to save... Yeah, this one. You actually want to save your boost for this one. Instead of wasting it on the way over to it. Because you do need it... To hit that marker! Bam! The height on that. Now, it is very easy to get, like, turn around and go the wrong way. On account of, like, how the... Canyons and everything are laid out here. So you can, like, stop and check your map um, when you need to. But I have a pretty good idea of, like, how the course is laid out. Where we can be expected to go. I think the last one is in there. Yeah, we can reach that in 25 seconds. Right? Right? Right. Bam. You drove so very fast. Come back to me so I can tell you how great you are. See, nice and quick. But yeah, like we did finish with like like around 20 seconds to spare. So like if you do go the wrong way and get turned around, you got to either commit and come out the other way and like be real good hitting that marker and looping around. Uh, or you're just kind of screwed. You are attractive to me. Thank you. That... <laughs> That's a great way to start. Alright, worm water? We're in worm water. I guess that means we gotta go... Back down? Let's find Magnus Lighthouse. Where is it? On the map. On the map. Over here? Oh yeah, it is over here. Turn around and go this way. <laughs> A lot closer than I thought. Right there, in fact. Yeah, you can see it. That decrepit piece of shit lighthouse that we were pointing at earlier. Alright, so I think once we make our way through Magnus Lighthouse. Um, the treasure gets revealed, and then we go... We have to run to, like, the, the boss or whatever, and... Yeah. Activate the gate. Don't tell me what to do. Fuck. 
fucking activate the gate. I don't remember that part. Oh, wait, that shitty low... Yeah, okay, yeah. I do remember that. Because I see the gate come up, and I'm like, that's a really short gate. Like, I feel like we could have jumped over that really easily. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, there's another treasure mission in there somewhere. And yeah, the lighthouse is all the way up there. So we will have to fight our way over and then fight our way, like, get on a lift and go all the way up with the lift. And then fight our way across the plateau, up the lighthouse, and then when we come back down the lighthouse, fight our way across the plateau <laughs> and back to the fast travel. Uh, this can be quite a stretch though and we're already just past four hours today so I'm thinking this might be where I cut it I'm thinking this is probably where we're gonna stop for today I just want to check my badass tokens right there grenade damage yeah well, eh, eh. she'll recharge rate what's grenade do I have grenade damage going I do it's at 6.4% that's at 6.8. Now gun damage go up to 13.8? Fuck yeah. Alright, and that's where I'm going to cut. Because there's a bit more to this than I remembered. It's going to take slightly longer than I wanted it to. So, <clears throat> we are cutting there. And we will pick it back up and finish it. And then probably start it on something new um, next time. And next time will be Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. Uh, so tomorrow and Wednesday we are playing Terraria, where we will probably be building a lot of the time. Uh, I got some cool stuff to show off. Um, something I've been doing um, in the meantime to... Um, sort of make money for the spray that I need. Yeah, I got, I got some cool shit to show off, so that'll be fun. And on top of that, Thursday, wait, I said Tuesday, Wednesday, we're doing Terraria, right? Thursday, Saturday, we're doing Concrete Genie. We're starting that up. I'm going to finish it off, hopefully, in the two streams. That'll be fun. Good game. Or so I'm told. It looks really pretty. I'm excited for it. And then we got Yakuza 0 on Friday. Just the one day of Yakuza. So get excited, guys. Get excited for the lineup. We got some cool stuff happening this week. Um, yeah. I guess I'll thank everybody who came to hang out today in the chat, live on Twitch. Thank you. Big man for each, guys. Um, good to see you all out here. Thank you, everybody who came to hang out on YouTube in the archive on your own time. Thank you. Big man preach to you guys. Um, thank you for watching my shit. Uh, wherever you are, I'm here as well on all these platforms, on the Twitch, the Twitter, and the YouTube. So find me on whatever platform you choose and hit the buttons, all of them, the like, the subscribe, the notification icon, etc., and know that when you smash sub on Twitch, you gain access to emotes, badges, and the Discord. Which is a really cool place, full of really cool people, myself included. Really great place to be, so why not, right? Uh, oh. I think that... Is, uh, is, is that for the plug? And the thank, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'll just remind you all now, as I usually do, as I usually tend to end the stream on the same note, this here is the Bone Pit, and I'm your host of Bone Score. I do not make the games, I just play them. So thank you guys for coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. I hope you will join me again in the future and enjoy future shows, whatever else I decide to do here. And, uh, yeah, until then, I will ask you all to stay inside and stay safe, stay hygienic and clean, and just have yourselves a good state of existence, I guess. 
Take it easy, guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!